Welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity, session 31, somehow. It is the 19th of August, 2019. <laughs> I'm Ryan the GM. Here's my black metal band. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Nico. I'm playing Zora, the best captain. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Nix5, the uh, keytar player. <laughs> 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 I'm also an Android mechanic. And also called Alex in my real life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're just Alex now. Alex Forever. That's what you actually are, though. Alex so. Forever is right. quite a good band name as well. Alex Forever isn't bad, actually. <laughs> Can Andy? Can Andy? Yeah, well? I'm bagsy in that one. Thanks. Um, hello, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, had to be edgy too, and I don't know if I can do my black metal voice anymore. I haven't tried in years, um, so let's let's not. In case I refer to you as a uh, Britney from now on. It's Britney. No, Britney from you now on. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I'd, I thought I'd just switch up at the end there. A little bit of a surprise for everyone. Mm -hmm. Hi, I play Lyco. I'm Colin. It's yourself. Wouldn't you so? Oh, okay. Is that it? That's all, that's all you're getting tonight. It's oh. oh dear. Um. Oh, I need to be metal, don't I? Um. Uh. Hi. Hello. Oh, that that's all I've got. Fun. I was metal 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 metal. Metal. I, I'm Zinc the Rat. Is what I was waiting hey. for. Uh, never mind. Hi. Tiny, tiny oh, there. Zinc. Oh, I get it. Cause it's the metal. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Yeah. Hi, I'm Callum. I will be playing Zig. That really hurt my throat. I should not, never have done that. That was awful. Yeah, full of Zig. Uh, anyway, hi. <laughs> if anyone out there wants to teach me how to scream, I would love that. <laughs> that I mean, sort of thing. In other news, what <clears throat> offer? Um... What? <laughs> 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 yeah. It's really see. hard. I used to be good at it. I can't do it for shit now. I'm just going to um, say one thing, though. 11th well, Hour is a beastly black metal bad name. Yes. Like, what? Yeah, the 11th Hour. You're damn right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I yeah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah, true. Yep. Um, and you are the crew of the 11th Hour. Like uh, Satan's Fingers, or the Killers, or the Hospital Bombers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a Mountain Goats reference. For all one of you people who listen to this and probably yeah. don't also listen to the Mountain Goats. I think that's me. I'm the demographic. <laughs> Yes, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> We're uh, gonna go see the mountain goats. First day when? Five, yes, we fucking are. Graphic. Uh, November? 18th, 18th November, if we go. Mm -hmm. Glasgow? Yep. You're yeah, St. Luke's. I'm yeah, literally, but... like, flying down on the Sunday, going to the thing on the Monday and leaving on the Tuesday. Which is why I can't go see Ghost in Glasgow, because they're playing the same night, which is why I'm going to fucking London to see Ghost. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan, this is now a mountain goats podcast. Evidently. Yes, yes, they need to be more of those. <laughs> can we, can we actually, can we actually do that? That'd be amazing. Maybe uh, not during this session, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, sorry, Ryan. Let's continue. I mean, if you just have your game commence, do that. <laughs> if we do game. It in Unpause. Yeah, like, it's oh, worth oh. noting that gig is a Monday night. <laughs> so it is. it is a Monday night. <laughs> I'll just not take a shift the next day. Put it on the schedule tracker. Is what it means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good point. Yeah, I'm. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm quite. Maybe stupid. it's because it's beyond the year expectancy lifespan. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Uh, anyway, hello again. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Starford. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you remember from last time? Well, Jeep. fighty boy. Got them, fighty boys. They lost. Pardon me. I, I got oh, a car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, I did some mean things. He murdered everyone. Yeah. You really I forgot all about that. Yeah. I forgot all about that. Um, oh yes, we spent half the session um, me faffing. Yes. <laughs> Learning how irradiate doesn't work and does work. Yes. Because I'm no further forward, uh, personally. Uh, so yeah. But then, are you any further back? No. Any less? Far back. No. Uh, hello, welcome to the big chat show. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be where this conversation is going. Right, anyway, uh, session 31. Here we are. We had a oh, oh God. little convoy into the sun. Sun, sun, sun. 
desert, and then there was some dust bandits, I believe. Mm -hmm. And we shot them. Yeah, you murderated them. Fucking Quite well, dust actually, bands. I think, as well. Nobody was in any place. I think we, we performed admirably as a team, and I said as much at the, um, mm -hmm. at the thingy. The post game. Yeah, I think you did pretty well, to be honest. You did good. There wasn't mm. really any. There wasn't really any kind of big concern actually in general, because I think Zig, you took a bit of damage, right? But I took a tiny bit of damage. But even with that, you were. Still but I'm there. fine. Mm -hmm. It's because I'm tanking. Yeah, you're literally the tankiest, I think, which is scary. <laughs> it's hilarious. I love it. I think Nyx could probably soak the most damage though. If I'm right. Oh. oh yeah, I've got two different sources of damage reduction now as well. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure between you and Zig, the support characters use her like the tankiest. <laughs> pretty much a model to fire. But that's about Whereas it. our DPS Fine. characters are the squidgiest. Or the most flammable. Still important new armor. Yeah. <laughs> I shoot people with gun. Yep. This is true. Um, but yeah. I do a stab some. So let's go review goals then. All is believe in your soul. God, oh. I'm afraid of game every time. Every time. I'm afraid of game. Look, this time. every time we touch, I feel this feel. <laughs> Does it get better, right? No. Things no, you know it doesn't. can only get better. Listen, listen. Um. I had an idea, a brilliant idea, of a wrestling gimmick, and I'm going to have a slight bit of a sidebar, but here, but don't worry. A it's slight be sidebar. A so slight the sidebar. wrestling gimmick this would game basically be a the sidebar. No, listen, it, it's brilliant. So it comes from the things only the bear. That's the entrance music, right? And the character is like a new Labour politician. Oh God, how good would that be? That Why is such... it always politics, Colin? I keep, I try and keep it out of my game. And you keep bringing it back in. Like, that Boris is a wanker. <laughs> well, that's a given. Right? Don't even think that needs stated. <laughs> yeah. I, if anything, I've been the least controversial politically. <laughs> I didn't endorse support <laughs> them, New, new Labour, um, or the Ra. I just feel like you're saying you're the least controversial dot 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 in any context. <laughs> probably bullshit. Um, but anyway, goals likely. Oh, I should open the game manager. Yeah, uh, no, what I like, like so I've far had, is you know. It, it currently says can for the game manager because it's obviously Colin, Alex, and Nico. Right. <laughs> but now it's got can anonymous hippo. <laughs> <laughs> can anonymous hippo what? Um, <sighs> show chat apparently. Open comment history or share. <laughs> Why try not to die but do stuff like cool with awful? What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was like, what? Why can't I see it? I'm in the wrong tab. If anyone should subscribe to the highest tier Patreon I have, uh, you'll get access to the game manager as well. <laughs> fucking mess. <laughs> In fact, if anybody should oh, to the Patreon at the highest level, you can make character goals for them. You just get a spelling mistake, right? And no correction, just a question. Yep. What are you, Matt Oeken? Do you speak about Matt Oeken, Scarab? I believe that is the name of the Scaramander we agreed to. Toeken, exactly. Yeah. I'd like to say the viewers get what they pay for. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Oh yeah, they do. You're welcome, viewers. Uh, yeah. Which is oh. I'm trying to remember what I did last week. Um, right for for goals, Lyco, find a new source of Borai information. It's still probably uh, yeah, the, I think the so. next thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Zig. It's mostly the same, I think. Um, I don't. I, I said, I, you know what? It was so long ago. Since last session, maybe I've already. Uh, yeah, it's probably the same. I assume. What I mean is, go read it and tell me, and then I'll move on to Zora. Oh right, Zora. okay. I am looking. <laughs> I feel like I need to stall on going. Do you think we're gonna get the ship fixed? No, 
but that's <laughs> besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> but the last, the last thing you did was rig it with explosives, which I feel is the opposite right, of getting right. it fixed. It's the best way, okay? <laughs> that was a loving trapping, okay? It's an endearing tra- entrapment, okay? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, romance is a very fickle thing. Trap. There's nuance to the romance I feel, of the like, I feel like that's a Mills and Boone book. <laughs> <laughs> right, realistically speaking, no, I don't think we're going to get the ship fixed. But Zora wants that ship fixed. <laughs> like, yeah, right, it's, like, if you want it done, like, that's, that's your goal, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. So... Makes sense. Oh dear. True, he doesn't know that he can. Well, maybe he does. He yeah. probably should know. Uh, I, I don't think Zora knows that that ship's unfixable. He's a total, te- total technophobe. Like, <laughs> absolute technophobe. What? You hand him a gun and he's like, oh, I'll pull the trigger. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes you just drop the gun and pull out your Doshko anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. I mean, sometimes I don't even pull that trigger. No. Yeah, we'll go for that. Next five. Yes. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's so much wrong here that I actually don't know which bit you're taking issue with. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for. Yep, there we go. How about that? <laughs> what, what? What should we? Do? Um. <laughs> got so far um so it was keep the buggy together until reaching civilization or the crew die of natural causes whichever comes first uh, you want to keep that uh, yeah <laughs> yeah an text. achievable goal this session perhaps <laughs> mm-hmm. there you go that's it in legible format for now you try to tell me to forget my fiction my ship <laughs> it's, it's not even. <laughs> Probably I can't even speak it. Is that unachievable? <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know how I made it past thirty-one sessions in the other game. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the shit I crave, right? This is the content I come here. Yeah. Um, this is what. This is why we're here. <laughs> uh, so, like, really, I just need to write ten sessions and then string that out for thirty, and we get this gold. So, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh. Madness! Right. I'm Where's happy it? with those goals, to a degree. Uh, Zig, we're swinging back to you. Goal? Yes, to reconcile Nyx and... Oh, or seek forgiveness. Oh, heck. <laughs> Dear God, Nyx. <laughs> um... <laughs> Well, okay. So, on that note, then I'm happy with those goals. That's beautiful. <laughs> I just, I just feel like we did so well with goals originally, and then our Lyco mostly did, and then I, yes, I did. even the goals other people completed seemed to be due to Lyco, and then <laughs> I saved my waifu all on my own. Mm-hmm. That is true. That seems like the one Super goal life-o. non Lyco related. Um, <laughs> Like no, like you in my waifu. Yeah, <laughs> n- n- nothing to do with waifuism. <laughs> but anyway, you are in the convoy. Is Lyco a normie? That is the most controversial thing you said today. Also, oh, just right. Modal, right? <laughs> For that question. Um, but yeah, so. Convoy, yes. Convoy. This game. Things. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm such a fucking... Several... Several drivings later. Mm. And... What's... What's everybody's morale like? What's everybody's mood? Mentality? Breath. Sandy. Because we've got... In front, we've got... Fucking... Motorbike cyclist from the future, uh, SK, on our fucking light cycle. We've then got, following up, we've got the Dust Bandit Buggy team, which is Zora and Nyx. 
and then behind them and the fight team. Yep. And then we've got the Truth. Zig and uh, Lyco uh, with the escape pods being towed behind them with Alice and Shackoffs. They probably don't need to be in the escape pods anymore, but yeah. we're not yeah, telling them that, right? The reason you yeah. put them there is because they don't have as good shielding. Yeah, that's true. In general. I thought it was just for fun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just rattling around no, and you the wedding just. can being thrown around. Yeah. No. I feel like this is probably a fairly good time for Lyco. I think he's probably quite energised and, uh, you know, that, that, that sort of adrenaline rush from the action. Mm -hmm. And after having kind of had to flee, I think that feels like a getting back in the saddle, taking a bit of control back. You know, meet some dust bandits, kill them all and steal their stuff. Did we stop to check they were dust bandits? Who cares? Um, this is the cop of the group, guys. This is, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Um, if had thought, right? um, you can tell why he got killed, right? <laughs> uh, actually, you can to read my backstory document, which I haven't shared with the whole group. Um, and if you want to read my background document, Hi, that is Patreon also too. the high speed. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, you can message me, and I'll send you what I've got on it. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it message me, like, and I will send you what I. Th Made up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that sounds right. Uh, <laughs> I, I think, yeah, I think, I think I'm fairly positive, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, is that noticeable for like? Because let's face it, you're sitting next to Zig, <clears throat> who clearly quite vent, edgy. He clearly yeah. vented quite a lot in that fight. <laughs> yeah, specifically vented a nuclear power plant onto mm. those poor melted people. And then Sun the guys fucking like head and neck out of uh, one of them as well, leaving merely the shoulders and uh, chest cavity. Um. Mm. Well, how 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 is how is the little the little scamp? I think he's quite stressed out. Um. He's he's still kind of. Ha very very drained from obviously the fight, but he's like hyper focused on um just trying to be present to get everyone where they need to go alive. Mm. That makes sense. Desperate not to fuck this one up. I think uh I think I'm sort of like <sighs> annoyingly chipper, kinda humming or something. Mm -hmm. Um you know, like, his ear would be like twitching at that. Like, I'm not gonna hum because I'm really, really appallingly bad at it. Um, It'd be accurate though, wouldn't it? No, so... I think. I think to be honest, I feel like Lyco can probably hold a tune better than I can. Oh, okay. He feels like he's kind of, you know, like a sort of. I, I don't know. He's he's kind of like a, almost a small town charming this char charmingness charm. <laughs> Fuck me, charm. To him, like I, I, I envisioned him uh, to an extent because, like, he comes from this world that is kind of, in some ways, a bit out in the edge. Mm. Like, it's very much a robot hole. It's you know, it's not the center of galactic life in the sense that most of the people on it aren't that alive. Um, and he sort of is from a kind of underbelly part of it. Um, yeah, almost like a second class stage of it, really. It's like literally the people there are just like, here is your job. It has been assigned to you based on what the what's it called again? I actually don't even remember it, but basically like a fucking central brain, essentially. Yeah, um, it, it assigns you tasks, and it seems like a place that probably a lot of people, you know, just because it's been determined that you're suitable for this job, you might not enjoy it. We've determined based on my backstory that clearly there is an underground there, there are bars, etc., etc., that, that you know might not always be perfect, but. I, I, I get this impression that he is kind of, you know, he's not a backwater character, but he's someone who is a bit folksy, mm -hmm. which is why I played him American. Uh, to any of you uh, Yanks listening, I sure am sorry. <laughs> 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 no, I love Americans. You're weird. Um, but yeah, I, I do envisage him as being almost this folksy character. He obviously isn't a heck something uh, but i can imagine him sort of like a quite chipper humming or whistling away 
um, you know, gun slung over his shoulder, because this is an environment in which he'll probably be a lot more comfortable than some of the party, such as our well, little... Considering that um, Abalone's closer to the sun than most, it's the closest one to the sun, I think, isn't it? So... Oh yeah, isn't it? Yeah! It, it yeah. literally is, it's true. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, that's, Arizona I think... Arizona is what you were thinking of. Good point. Man's Fishy. testament to Huggins, or whatever. Um, so yeah, I, th I feel like I feel like this is a sort of this is probably quite comfortable for Ico, and yeah, I, I don't know if that's something that would irritate. I mean, it obviously, sounds like it is something that would irritate uh, our our our, uh, our, dry, our our designated driver. Yeah, who's also weirdly fond of the sun as well, but seems to have a slight chip on his shoulder regarding um, sun-related matters of late. Mm. So Zig, you are kind of twitchy, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I, I very like Eyes in that. Very focused on like just directly in front, like not You're... kind of acknowledging. I have a controversial idea. Never Why do I make a roll to see if I twig on that? I mean, yeah, let's go for it. Let's yeah. perception. Uh, be sense motive, right? Sense motive, yes. good point. Uh. I was, um, apologies again to my Friday players, I, I did ask you to roll sense motive five times in a row before I realised I meant insight. Apologies. <laughs> 22, because I literally can't roll poorly at that. Uh, Zig, are you trying um, to hide the fact that you're... No, no. Yep, then... He's probably not even aware that he's super twitchy. Yep. Um, then yeah, they're totally... It's just an totally automatic nice. response. Yeah, 22 is yeah. Yeah. easy. <laughs> Okay, so I think like after a little while we're driving along and he's obviously on edge and yeah, it's almost I, I could just imagine almost like or like properly being like um, Matthew McConaughey styles of passenger annoying, quite frankly, uh, with his like yeah, no, that works. my automobile, slapping your leg and stuff like that. My baby beside <laughs> me at the wheel. Yeah, I, I can imagine it. And then you turn around to Zig and Zig just be like. Sweat pouring down face, driving really crazily because everybody's obviously in like masks and shit, right? So, because you need your enviro suit. Yeah, so. we we warm, and um, you're obviously loving it. <laughs> and I think I would I would uh, sort of carefully broach it and uh, you know I kind of uh, all right there, kid. I feel like Zig would just kind of like. Unintentionally snap at him. <laughs> you know, as soon as he says it, he'd be like, I'm fine! Like, oh, I'm fine. And then kind of, you know, realize that he was <laughs> being a bit of an ass. <laughs> I go, no, no, I'm sorry. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. And he'd calm down a little bit, like, you know, have like that extra, like, breath and then sigh. There's like some of the sort of just energy that's stored up inside him sort of leaves. Seemed a little bit, uh, a little bit on edge after that, uh, well, let's call it a fight, but. A scuffle. A scuffle. It Just means more in the sense that they didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a bit, I don't know, nervous. Well, I guess we uh we don't know exactly where we're walking into here. It's not unreasonable to be uh, a bit nervous. I... Um, I guess we just follow her lead, and I I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine. It's a good sigh. I certainly hope so. Hey, we've 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 more or less managed so far, right? So I mean, dragons concerning, but <laughs> mildly. I think when you say like we've more or less managed so far, there's just like a rattling noise and something like obviously dislodges from the buggy, <laughs> <laughs> hits off one of the escape pods <laughs> in the back. <laughs> you maybe sure of the radio, Alice? Being like, um. Hello. Hey? Lyco? Everything okay back there? 
That was my question. Um. There was a bang, but we're still being. We're still in motion. It's um, probably fine. I, I'll look out the window and I guess see if anything's obviously broken at a glance from an, an expert person. I mean, there's a panel missing where there used to be, but nothing that looks what you would necessarily call drive vital. <laughs> okay. Uh, some metal bits of... It, uh, it looks fine. Reassuring. How... How much longer are we stuck in these? Um, I sort of look at Zeg and shrug. <laughs> uh, Zeg, we will get there when we get there. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Don't crash land this time. Is she? And Zeg would noticeably <laughs> get a little bit very frustrated. Does she know we're? On the ground. It's like, it's like silently fuming. Because <laughs> I feel like uh, maybe she, maybe she doesn't <laughs> quite get the ground. And I think with that, like the camera does that thing where it like travels through the windshield, right through into the other uh, buggy, as it were. And what do we see, a uh, Zora? And next five up to in the other buggy. Hmm. Uh, I think next obviously is driving along, but also flicking all the switches. Mm. I think figuring out how this buggy thing works. Okay. Yeah. Um. Surprised that it didn't obviously get destroyed. Yeah, like, um, it was definitely probably like shot up a bit. Do you know what I mean a couple of stray shots, etc., hitting it, and it's clearly been yeah, so up a lot before. I think is also kind of quite poignant. This is clearly used as like a cover device a lot. Yeah, I think there's almost that like sort of um, the Acatonian mechanic showing through with a bit of respect for yeah, the fact that it's kept together. Yeah, I think perhaps some of the bullets that are lodged in this still are now providing vital functions. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not the sort of stuff you get on Absalom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Absalom's relatively sleek, to be honest. Um, yeah, and yeah, I think there's an appreciativeness for um, engineering on the edge. Yeah, scrap engineering. Yeah, engineering. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a different thing. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, but yeah, so what's the what's the mood in uh, that buggy then? Um, probably, well, in Zora's case, he's probably quite chill. Um, he's just here before. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just crushed some, some bandits and he's probably quite happy. Um, didn't get set in fire. Um, no, the, it's always a, the always a bonus. just doing that for you, to be honest. Ah, it's quite pleasant. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he's just basking. Yeah. <laughs> Tongue out between the teeth, out the window. <laughs> Have you really had a day out if you haven't crushed some bandits? You know, <laughs> if, if you're Veskian, probably not. <laughs> I mean, I guess they are Veskian. Yeah. Vesky yeah. Vesky. Probably should I say Veskian a lot? I'm not. I'm not sure if it's the proper term, but it is now. Um, as the sole Vesk of the party, Hashtag. I. As the diplomat. As, <laughs> yeah, as the entire diplomatic core of the Vesk Imperium. Yeah. He makes up words all the time. <laughs> you can tell him that, doesn't he? Go very far, can't you? <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, he's probably just quite relaxed, but he's probably still keeping an eye out, just in case any more bandits show up. Because we're in bandit, bandit town, back country. Back country, yeah. I like, <laughs> I like that. Good book. Good book. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, any conversations sparked up between the two of you, or are you both silently enjoying the ride differently? I feel like we're probably both the silently enjoying <laughs> types. <laughs> enjoying different things, but yeah. yeah. So, um, I think just taking a moment to try not to think about what we're going into. I think Nix is enjoying the distraction. Yeah, like it's almost a... 
a simple distraction in a way as well, isn't it? Because Nick likes fixing stuff and mm. like looking at like, I guess, mechanical curiosities, right? So this is probably quite one of these nice kind of maybe even throwbacks to Akaton, as you were saying. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's the closest he's had to relaxation for a while, I imagine. Think, I think it's funny because obviously you've got Zora enjoying the heat and again, maybe blood rush of battle. You've got Nyx5 enjoying the appreciation of a fucking jury rigged buggy <laughs> twofold. And then you've got Lyco enjoying the blood rush of battle and the relaxation because of Avalon. And then you've got Zig who loves and studied at the sun and <laughs> is the most uncomfortable. So you got to like the dynamic layout where the one that did mm-hmm. the most effective in the combat is the one the most disturbed by it. That's because he's guilty of the most. I don't <laughs> think I hit anyone meaningful. <laughs> I love the, well, he has the most guilt. So. <laughs> so in the android manner. <laughs> I do think it is like because yeah, he it's different for him killing than it is for, for instance, a Vesk who has seen battle mm-hmm. or um, someone with some very bizarre ethical codes <laughs> or <laughs> Lyco who just doesn't really give that much of a fuck mm-hmm. yeah I think it's it would be quite an interesting shot and again it'd be one of those big kind of long camera shots where like the there'd be a lot of dust kicking up and whatnot and lots of kind of like harsh lighting um, and it probably would be that all of you are relatively relaxed and like you know it's the catching your breath after a long run whereas Zig has the, you know, panicking about having to go around look on his face, despite again being the most effective, if you will. Interesting, eh? Kind of visual that you get. And then obviously we just get the two rattling around in the cans at the back. Um, <laughs> never mind the fucking sci fi biker mice from Mars that we've got up front. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you want to do on this wonderful convoy, we can happily do so if need be. Anything you want to see to each other, or uh, yeah. I think I did that already at the end of the combat. Actually. And if not, feel free to do so now. Um, Consider it do. Ni. Um, but yeah. Ni. If not, as in do ni done. And uh, ah yes, I see your ways. And uh, I'm happy just to skip ahead, if you are. Cool. Yes. So, mm. an acceptable compromise. <clears throat> so yeah, we start to you start to see like again the the haze of light and heat and whatnot and dust ahead starts to like have lots of kind of almost like a bright shiny lights, if you will, like kind of ref- like reflecting through the the dust. Uh, and then as you get closer and closer, you can see it's like the the kind of city strip, if you will, um, that you're coming onto, like the kind of the outskirts of it, uh, and you're even like uh, hearing above the kind of like the rumble of uh, the road, as it were. And by road, I mean loosely just the fucking ground. Uh, you're seeing the ships coming and going, often as much mm. like uh, you can hear them more so than you can see them, I guess, and um, like the kind of roars of the engines and whatnot. And uh, yeah, you start to approach the main strip of versus. Ooh. Cool. Which is um, just incredibly fancy. Sorry to interrupt. You were going in and out a little bit for me there. Not so badly that I couldn't follow what you're saying, but just a little bit. It's okay. The um, most of it was just that you're hearing like the roars of engines and whatnot. And no, I got that. Yeah. I just wanted to warn you in case it continued to be a thing. It's okay. The good thing is I record locally, so it always gets everything anyway. Um, but yeah, for you guys, yeah, if you ever need to repeat things, let me I know. Think it was fine for me, but... Okay. It, it might just be me. My connection was a little iffy earlier. Seems to be fine now, but... So yeah. But yeah, so you start to approach, like, what seems like... Well, I don't know, probably the most expensive place you guys have visited so far. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, like, Versus is pretty... Up market. Yeah, it really is, to be honest. Um, very wealthy, 
as a place very um, efficient, very high tech, and yeah, not really much else to say. Has anybody been to Versus in the party? That's a Probably. Good I would I think that I have. Don't think Probably so. not. Uh, Colin, you definitely have been, just so you know. Yeah. Uh, the reason for that is this is where the stewards began. Yeah. I thought because it, it, it was the beginning point probably be significant, which is why I assume he'd been... I think he's been to most of the, the packed worlds. I don't think he's really travelled outside them at all. Yeah. But I think like he's probably seen the packed worlds pretty well. Like, I think there's a chance Nick Five will have been as well. Kind of, I know he kind of had the idea he subcontracted for. Yeah, no, I remember we spoke about that. that obviously, he'd maybe worked for stewards and whatnot in the past, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... I imagine if the stewards were somewhat like Starfleet, this is where Starfleet Academy would be, quite frankly. Um, so yeah, the steward HQ, if you will, is on Versus, uh, which obviously would make quite a good fallback point, quite frankly. Mm. Um, but yeah, sense. as I said, as you get closer and closer, there's a lot of air traffic, etc., as you would expect from like a heavily populated city belt, considering you know this is the strip along the equator. And it goes yeah. all the way around. Um, but yeah, so you uh, start to pull in. The conditions obviously get a lot more tolerable. Um, excuse me. Um, as you kind of like pull up to the equivalent of like, you know, a, a main gate, if you will, like a kind of border control type situation. Uh, and yeah, who takes point on that out of interest? I feel like it would make sense for me to go. Mm -hmm. yep, so like, yeah. You guys all kind of pull up your vehicles, because keep in mind, one of them's a fucking dust bandit car. Um, so you kind of just look like you've been chasing this expensive biker all the way here. And uh, yeah, you just get there. S8 dismounts the bike, it kind of like vanishes in light. And she takes like her helmet off as well, and then turns to the group, she kind of squints a little bit. Uh, and I assume then she sees Lyco approach. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And she kind of like nods kind of solemnly as if she was hoping it was going to be you. Um, I think he just returns the nod. And then uh, as you kind of like walk up to her, she's kinda, she kind of leans over and she says, What pill do you still have with the stewards? Um. Wouldn't say I had much pull, but. They'll at least give me a hearing. You know. I'm one of them. Even if I'm not technically. And she kind of just kind of does that kind of looking forward, but kind of slow nod as if she's pondering things as you're both walking towards, like, you know, again, this kind of checkpoint, as it were. What, um, what are you thinking? you think Abadar are not exactly we're not in good favour on versus like we are in say Absalom we don't have the room to manoeuvre so freely here as we do elsewhere um, whereas stewards on the other hand. Very much so. She kind of like... You can clearly see there's more going on, right? Yeah. You don't even need to roll set support for that. You can clearly see she's no. kind of like... Yeah, she's... she's <laughs> um, she obviously I know, doesn't necessarily I, I, want to... Like, you get the impression... Maybe it's that she doesn't want to admit she's on the planet. Right? Because if she goes in the system, it gives her less manoeuvring room. You know, like if you sign the right. guest book, you know, MD that looks at the guest book knows you were here. If that makes sense to okay. Lyco. Okay, so she doesn't necessarily want to officially be there. Yeah, because like her clout could get used gags in. No questions asked. She just doesn't want to need to cash that in. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that vibe of you obviously don't want to play your hand just yet. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no, that's it. Perfectly sensible. Um, I think we'll probably just have to get the others and, and progress from there. If she, I mean, I suppose 
Lyco doesn't know that she's maybe not going to do that, but he, he, he gets the general sense that she's kind of wanting to play it on the down low, so mm -hmm. I think um, I, I'll uh, well, sorry, I'll go back in character. So I'll make the approach to them. I establish contact. Are you you're going to be there, or are we reporting back to you? And then she, uh, she kind of stops walking and kind of like does that thing where she half turns towards you and then like puts her hand kind of out in front of you. And then she looks at you and she goes, I think it's best we are refugees from Absalom. And she just like holds your, your gaze on that note. <laughs> well, happily we are, so... And she kind of looks at your vestments <laughs> and she says, not great colours to be wearing. Ah, um, that's, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get changed. And she kind of like looks at her like forearm and you can clearly see there's some kind of weird I don't know, possibly kind of white light hieroglyphics instead of like a data readout on her arm and she's okay. like it's it's ill recommended in this environment still despite it being less harsh than where we <laughs> landed I am um, I can cover it temporarily and she kind of like has like yeah. an open palm towards your chest. I am happy to go ahead, but if that's detected, it's going to come across as even more suspicious than just wearing it open. She smirks a little bit, but you can see that she doesn't, she dismisses it quickly as if she didn't really want to smirk. Hmm. Uh, and she's like, going undetected is one of my skills. With permission? Then please. She kind of nods and she like puts her hand on your chest and then like you can see um, again a bit like kind of like digital kind of white lines all appearing around her hand um, and then just like seeping in to the armour itself and then it just kind of starts to coat itself into like just white all over. Um, so all of it like it's just whitewashed literally. Um, just in that kind of slow colouring. I'll look out some new armour while I'm here, so this isn't, you know, necessary to upkeep after the fact. And she kind of like waves her hand a bit in front of the armour, like, yeah, you'd have to be looking for what this was to notice. As if, okay. this will fill most people, is what she's basically saying, because um, most people won't really give a fuck what you're wearing, but at least it's hiding the obvious Bowen sage <laughs> yeah. ness about it. Um, especially one that looks like it may have went and ate the power core of uh, Absalom, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Images and all that, you know? The. Uh, she kind of nods and goes, They'll ask for names. You don't need to give names. Your name and your former status should be enough to get refugees some form of asylum even if only I would in so. some kind of temporary facility which I'm sure they will have set up by now all going well We're probably not the only ones yeah and she kind of like looks I up and I think at that point you hear like the rumbling of like a big engine and whatnot as it's like heading overhead or whatever mm. um it seems like there's quite a bit of air traffic already. I'll inform the others if you could initiate the introduction. Okay. And then um, she kind of like nods curtly and then she heads to the, the group that are probably like unpacking the vehicles a bit. <coughs> um, or just parked up the vehicles and maybe Nick's, maybe you're attending to like 
the buggy and whatnot while this is going on. Maybe he's become more yeah. buggy. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so you guys are all kind of like mulling around the, the vehicle, like uh, Shakos and Alice are like getting out and stretching their legs, and Alice is doing like stupid exercises to stretch. Um, Shakos is just sat in the shade of the buggy with her back to the wheel or something. And then, uh, like, what's the rest of you doing? Like, Zora, Zig, Nyx? Probably, like you said, he's probably just unpacking, getting ready. Um, yeah, that's probably a bit of fun. I mean, yeah, I think Zig's just kind of... So we just ditching the bucket. Uh, you have stopped here because this is where SK stopped to like have the conversation about the checkpoint user about to mm -hmm. approach to get into like the actual city itself. Because um, as you can imagine, with mm -hmm. the, the wasteland as it were being kind of lawless, the the cities aren't just open. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. kind of mega city esque, big doors, etc. <laughs> um, but yeah, like for the most part, versus is like a a good place to live, just most people can't afford to live here. Because obviously space is at a premium. Um... Okay. Oh. Yeah, you cut out there. It's a leg. Ah, or yes. Yeah, South digital hole. <laughs> Software failed. Yep, I live in the hole now. It's okay. The hole. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, we got right you. here. And don't be. Okay. Seems to be a bit delayed. No. Oh. Yeah, that was that was. <laughs> Nix has been out in the sun too long. Yeah, <laughs> this is. Need to cool the processors down. More. But yeah, I think in that moment, and you've got obviously. All right, welcome back. Maybe. Hello. Is it Nix you are looking for? Hello. I can see it in your ear, huh? Well. How we've managed to keep the ratings. I don't know. Rebooted. Hello. Aha! There we go. Okay. Oh, Let's just hope it holds true. Uh, yeah. Yes, I will be assessing internet options mm. at some point in the coming months. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously been overclocking, and combined with the heat, it's yeah. just too much. <laughs> yeah, it's gone too much, yeah. Okay. You get some internal cooler or some water cooling for a next one. I mean, that is... That is... Ten, you have the overclock feature. Mm -hmm. So... Uh... Nice. Um, do, I have any, do I have any cooling spells? No, you're a sun thing. Are you irradiate well, maybe you people. <laughs> you I have the opposite to radiate. That is... <laughs> ah, well, yeah, just there's no mechanic things. trick for water cooling you yourself. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. No. I'll, I'll... But yeah, so you guys are a. Uh, you see a. What's your face? Just asking. SK approaching. Yeah. As user all up to something. Right. Let's see. Give me a second. Alex, join me here. Maybe. Where are we? Yeah. Speak to me. Any better? Not better? Maybe better? Oh. Nope. Oh, hello? Yeah, uh, you got me? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Wow, I'll leave the channel very briefly and go back to this place. Um, oh my god. You okay there, Nico? I'm just getting phone calls left and right, it's actually quite annoying. <laughs> How's uh, happening, Troops? <laughs> Good chat. Yeah. Anyway. Um, it's happening. So yeah, <laughs> the group that aren't Lyco have an escape approaching. Are you just talking amongst yourselves, or are you just keeping to yourselves? Um, probably just unpacking. Probably give her a, a sarcastic two finger salute. <laughs> oh, excuse me. 
I think Zig's just trying to get his self and stuff together. Um, trying to put off having some sort of like mental collapse um, to later. Yeah, and I think like with Shaklas with her back against one of the wheels, do you know what I mean? She's like in the shade waiting for everybody to like get their stuff together. She has no stuff, obviously. I think she's maybe just like watching you like absent mindedly as you're doing whatever it is you're fussing over. Um So yeah. Oh, heck. And then SK obviously appears and she goes Lyco is gonna make the uh, the introductions. These are all refugees from Absalom. And she looks over at you. I mean, I could have told you that. <laughs> and she looks over at Zora and she goes, You're a bit harder to sell on the old refugee front. Zora. The best cavalry. I would kind of, I would kind of snigger. Um, well, I mean, there's only one seven foot tall pale blue Vesk comes for the Absalom station. I'm sure you could sell it. And she says, no, not me. Lyco. He has the credentials we need to get in. Without I'm sure he can sell it. That's what I'm saying. And she kind of just like, is if, what am I talking to myself? Like, can... <laughs> and then, um, mm -hmm. she turns around to uh, Nix and she goes, your buggy did good. And she turns on her heels and heads back towards Lyco. And then she just shouts over her shoulder, pack up your shit, let's go. I'd kind of just sling my backpack off right. my shoulder and go. Mm -hmm. Everybody follow suit? Yeah. I'm just taking a moment, so because as I said, we're just leaving the buggies here, aren't we? Yep. So... Emily. Say that again. We got mm -mm -mm, Emily. Uh, I said that was Emily's buggy. It wasn't. No, you know, we'd. Uh, I kind of. I ruined the first time. I promise you, that I'll put it back. I want you to go dump it. There's a. Yeah, like. Much like yeah. the. Obviously, the. The eleventh hour, like there's nothing to say you, you couldn't attempt to recover it, or you could even try and make arrangements to get this thing salvaged or something, right? But yeah, for the most part, you wouldn't really be allowed to drive it in mm. in case it was full of bandits, obviously. Mm. Just made it all fair, um, uh, but that would obviously have to be a conversation you may have with Lyco. I'm right? through. So. Maybe that's yeah, a conversation that's that obviously Nix5 wants to go and like catch up with Lyco. And maybe have that before he makes it. Chat later on, I'm getting back to that beat. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh jeez, I've left my thing. I'm just going to mute it. <laughs> 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 Apologies, that's thought I was muted. It's okay, there was nothing that made it. In. That's fine. No, I was chatting with my mother. She's, uh, she, they, they were away. Um, I've also got myself a beer while I went away. Also, much of that, Alex, did you hear? Uh, yeah. Good. Okay. What? okay. Uh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Is there anything, I've lost is there anything, happening anything here? running in the background of Lock your the computer or internet that is taxing your computer? Like still so having. Badly? Yeah, because it is bad. Absolutely every two or three words. Is or Discord something. waiting for an update? Like in the top right, is there a green arrow somewhere? Uh, yes, <laughs> I think was the answer. Yes, um, yeah, it sounds oh, like accidentally closed absolutely everything. Oh my god, yep, sorry. Okay, we will... Apologies for leaving that, and I hope you didn't hear me going for a piss. Um, well, no, yeah, it's it's like you had, you had your your radio lav mic on, and all we could hear was oh, oh, nice. Oh. Look, there's someone out there who would pay for it. You know what? Uh, the highest tier to be fair, there's the someone game. out there. Yeah, I know, but the, 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 the key word there is pay. Mm. 
<laughs> suffer. Uh, you will pay for it. Yes, there's definitely a scene I think Nyx wants to have with Lyco, which I would like to have, because he does feel cut up about the idea of leaving Emmeline's buggy, which makes sense. Hello. Any improvement? Mm -hmm. Testing. Please stand by. One, Hello. Two. Hello. One. Hi. Okay, right. certainly not so, too bad there. Yeah. Nice. So you, you know that bit we say, is there a green arrow? Mm -hmm. Uh, hovered over it and clicked it. Yeah, and then you yeah. updated. Yeah. Every. I guess there's the update. Been... Yeah, yeah, I did. I did now. That was surprising. It's uh, um, it's a improvement. Yeah, but it's still, still a bit. Let me see. It, it's an improvement. So let's go oh, on this now, Christ. right? Sick. Is there something wrong? Really just discovered. Yeah, it's a new computer, and uh, OneDrive has decided to oh God. update. Oh God. Secretly, in the bottom row. Secret updates. Secret updates. Okay. Secret updates. That's a. An Android thing. <laughs> Please no. Um, Please no. How's this sounding? A lot better. A lot right, better. So Fuck Fuck yeah. Windows. Next five. Let's focus on you while we've got you. So focus on me. You're at Please. the buggy, and that conversation comes up about yeah, yeah pack up your shit, let's go. Obviously, next five has a lot of conflicting feelings. We'll talk about it in a second, but it's maybe something you want to confront Lyco about before he goes to the checkpoint. <laughs> So let's, yes, let's, go, like... let's focus on whatever going through. So what's going through next five's head at the moment as um, SK is walking away? It's mostly just the flashbacks to the promises he's made. Just mm -hmm. that the scenes of don't worry, I'll put it back together. Don't worry, it'll be fine. It'll be here for her when she gets back. And now looking over it with the bullet holes and um, the dust settling in. Yeah, and maybe even just flashes of like scenes of Absalom, and then obviously like saying, you know, yeah, we'll all reconvene on the ship at a certain point mm -hmm. in time, um, like when you went off to the lower spire, right? Um, for the last time you would have seen Emmeline, because obviously her, yeah. and, uh, her and the captain went to see uh, Wesland at that point. And then she never came back. Yeah. So yeah. I guess it's... Kind of realizing that everyone's wandering off from the ship, from the buggy. Yeah, and it is. It's almost, in a way, it's kind of like the last kind of remnant of Emlyn, right? And that's. Sense... And at this stage, it's also kind of it's become the proxy for the ship as well, mm -hmm. to a certain extent. So there's a whole um. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess he does thinks probably gives it a once over. I don't know if there's a way to you know lock it up as much as possible. Yeah, I mean you could take some time, right? Because there was some time when they were away talking, really. Um, yeah. As well. I'm assuming it's computer driven, so yeah, enter a password mm -hmm. to stop it from just switching on for anyone. Not definitely. Um, yeah. Um... As I said, these are parked outside, like the kind of checkpoint zone, as it were. Um, mm -hmm. These are going to like start approaching on foot, um, but you did that kind of safe distance parking up nonsense thing. Um, but it wouldn't exactly be long before someone would attempt to salvage the shit if it's just left outside. So, if you were looking to get like it recovered or whatever, you'd probably want it arranged swiftly, you know. Yeah, so I kind of I'd make the provisions to lock it up first, and then head over to Lyco. Yeah, so Lyco's probably okay. the one who's heading off to the checkpoint zone. Um, Eskate's probably trying to mm -hmm. like she's leaving the group towards obviously the Lyco area again, <laughs> uh, but you can easily overtake and just go catch up with him instead. Yep, yeah, jog on down, mm -hmm. and uh, Lyco. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing for the buggies? Um, honestly, I hadn't even given it a thought. I assume there's a service that can take them in for us? Yeah, 
I mean, there's, there, there, there will be someone. It'll be, uh... No doubt there'll be some sort of cost. That's fine. Just as long as, even if it's just a lock-up for the time being. Uh, we'll, we'll have to ask. I, I, honestly, I'm really not sure. I haven't spent that much time here, but it's a, it's a pretty civilized place. They, they've got most things you could want. So. If you're uh, determined that we hold on to them, their condition is. It's questionable, right? They're not just the one, and they can leave the pots. Yeah, it's not ours. Yeah, I guess. Um, it makes sense. Michael, roll mm. sense move. Mm, certainly. I'm saying to open the thing up again. Since motif. Oh, apparently I can roll poorly. Now, how obvious is it on Nix's kind of like display, as it were? That this is obviously, <laughs> he's a bit distressed. Given that this is obviously, he's like, I have basically added new routines into my programming to see I would fix these and look after them. I don't know if it would be kind of any obvious facial or physical cues. No, but I, I, I think mean probably overall, just the... because you ran an mm. after Lyco and said, Lyco, all of that's out of character for you. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely... <laughs> well, no, I notoriously hard to read, so... I don't but know, let's go either way. I think there's a... Um, he's hard to read, but he's also generally quite... Um, it's just also not a great cold. role in Lyco's part either. <laughs> but I think even then, I think just the kind of, I don't want to say the lack of logic involved, but, you know, yeah, he's usually a very pragmatic person. Almost of it, yeah. yeah, you know, he's he's not above mm. ditching things that are not useful to him anymore. So it's, yeah, and particularly given how happy he was to salvage a lot of other things along the way. Okay, um, so yeah, I can see yeah. it, it standing out as something out of character. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, I think you probably you find do. it's um, maybe Lyco thinks this because it was a pro role, so you don't get that it's the Emmeline distress that you're picking up on. Maybe you think it's obviously you think back to that shelf you cleared when you were feeding the ooze, mm. and it's all the random like knickknacks that you picked up. Um, I was about to say there's probably a, an element of that coming in as well. Yeah, like I think maybe you're picking, mm. maybe you're thinking more it's the he likes collecting little things that he's fixed up or that are unique in some way and maybe you think yeah. oh he wants to keep this because he fixed it up makes sense nothing to do with obviously the Emlyn vibe <laughs> okay yeah um, that, that seems a reasonable conclusion um, I think wait excuse me I think I would probably be quite happy to acquiesce that because like there'll, there'll be something we can do Um, I don't think I'm going to push him I don't think I'm going to push back rather on that because mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes him a lot like a character, but I can, I can sort of, yeah, I can think. Well, this is, you know, maybe this is one of his things. You know, one, one of those things that he wants to hang on to. It's got some significance. He's worked on it. He is a mechanic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, obviously, I mean, I did kind of ask a bit, like, not quite saying it that way, but I was virtually asking with that question: Do we need to? But I don't think I'm going to push back any harder than that. I think that's that's probably more than enough mm -hmm. to get Lyco to sort of kind of all right acquiesce a bit. Um, so yeah, was, we'll uh, worry about that once we're inside. Very well. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, like just you, give him a, a nod. <laughs> maybe there's just like this slightly awkward walking of you side by side for a change, um, and then obviously we have this kind of like wider shot, like shot from above of like the gate, kind of gatehouse type situation, like when, uh, 
next five, then, <coughs> eight, then the rest of the folks kind of catching up. Probably Shakos and Alice at the back. Um, and yeah, like you said, up to the the checkpoint. Uh, and next, do you hang back or do you just walk with Lyco? Because there's not any particular reason pro or con, to be honest. Yeah. Can, can I, I think um, probably he's walking alongside Lyco for a wee bit mm -hmm. before kind of stopping and thinking and going. Are we too heavily armed to be refugees? Kind of looking at the plasma cannon that Nix is carrying alongside him. Yeah, there's a lot of different people in <laughs> Absalom, right? Yeah, there was. I just. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to put them on edge. Okay. That's all Lyco says about him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it doesn't, obviously, because I don't hear your okay. thoughts. Um, okay. It's great, though, if it was. just okay. <laughs> So, yeah, if no, if no one's going to do anything, I would just approach them. Uh, yeah, so I think you you head up on your own from this motley crew. Uh, <laughs> rifle slung over your shoulder, yeah? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Why indeed if not? Uh... Yeah, and uh, as you get closer, you realise these these things in the distance are like, well, eight foot or something. So, uh, yeah, you approach. And then uh, they just kind of like look up. And do I have any images of these things? Give me a second, I'll see if I can find. Ooh, who knows? Uh, Umstuth can save. The... Uh, you've seen images of them before, in a way. Let me paste some artwork. Uh, They've got black eyes, they're about eight feet tall. Uh, like, yeah. And a lot of them have, like, kind of integrated tech. And it's the Ruthani. And you've probably had dealings with them quite a bit, to be honest, Michael. Okay. Um, let me have a look, see if I can. What, how's it spelled again? Uh, Verthani. <laughs> V E R T H A N I. But, uh... Well, that's unsettling. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you have seen that dude before? Mm. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you approach um, them, as it were. And they kind of obviously, like, you've got, like, they look like border control, right? Like, mm. the ones that you approach. Um, Pretty well armoured. It seems like it's armour designed to deal with obviously the heat, etc. and exposure. Um, kind of like, you know, they obviously kind of tell you to stop there. They get their, they're obviously fairly well armed as well. They kind mm. of head out, approach you, and then they, uh, they speak. Now, can you speak, Vertani? <laughs> I cannot. Um, where is the languages list again? Does anyone have that to hand? I don't actually know if it's actually called Verthani. I think it is, but... Oh, no, it's some other fucking random name. Uh, languages. Languages. Where is the language? Hmm. I don't remember what page the languages are on offhand. Uh, like 22 or something. Oh, I have a spell for that. <laughs> I don't think it'll be necessary. I think it'll probably. It'll be so, fine. Sorry, the page is 40 to 41. Oh, 40 to oh yeah, it's the end of the um, theme section, isn't it? Start with the races. That's it, Versite. Versite. Which is actually a great name for a language. Versite. Um. Speaking, of course. So yeah, they start speaking in a versite to you, uh, mm -hmm. and then what does Lyco do? Um, Lyco would, yeah, you know, sir, very, very politely. Um, you know, uh, apologies. Can we speak common? And then a. Uh... They kind of look at each other, 
and one of them kind of like almost like makes a clicking sound with their mouth <laughs> and then uh, the other one turns to you and says business <laughs> <laughs> um, we're fleeing Absalom Station. And you hear him say something in the Veracite to the other one, who's like, kind of circling around you, doing that kind of gauging you thing. And then he shouts back something in Veracite, and then he says, uh, Absalom Station? You're fleeing it? Uh, may maybe we're the first that you've received. There have been some... I don't fully understand. There was some sort of attack. Can okay, I like motions to the rest of your group? Them too? These are, yeah, so some uh, associates of mine, including a fellow. Uh, sorry, I, I should should have identified myself. I'm, I'm a former. Did we determine what his final rank had been? I think detective was probably it. Yeah, no, I think we said detective. Yeah. yeah I'm I'm a former detective with the stewards, um, Lyco Quint. This is, what's Shakos's rank again? I know I asked this all the time. Oh, just officer. Off this is Officer Shakos. I sort of gesture into the distance. Mm -hmm. uh, she is currently with the stewards. Um, I, I, I'm an, an ex-member. Uh, if if you contact them, though, I'm, I still work with them. They, they can vouch for my identity. Um, the others are uh, some associates of mine and, and some other refugees. I imagine you'll have more than us soon. When did you leave Absalom? Good question. <laughs> when did we leave Absalom? Because obviously travel. Well, I mean, like you crashed. Like I had, what see, probably what. Let's say it was about all in, maybe an eight hour since crashing to here. Yeah. Right. So that's maybe like what was it? Three hours of like messing around the. The stuff in the ship, and then about four hours of travel, maybe. Gunning. So, mm -hmm. like this morning, effectively. Well, no, obviously, because relative time differences. I'd say, like, um, it's been within the day. And the guy goes, Right. Let me. Let me call this in. Can you, um, fetch your. Associates, and he kind of like gestures, of course. To like, you know, slightly inside the border compound, as it were. Um, but I'll need you to declare all weaponry and technology. He kind of like slowly nods. Of course. And he kind of like nods to like the kind of bandit buggy. Hmm. Trouble. Uh we encountered some and he just cuts you off we don't like trouble here and he's just looking at you to accept the hint <laughs> yeah i just i, mean, I just know it's um it's like go get your associates i'll call this in quint he said and shakos yes sir and he does the equivalent of going away and speaking on his walkie-talkie, you know. <laughs> um, okay, I'll go off to get the grip. <laughs> yeah. So, as you head back, uh, you probably hit, like, what, next five first and then escape, right? Hmm. So, uh, she does that thing, oh. where obviously she tilts her head up as if to say, right, what's the situation? Uh, they've asked me to bring my uh, associates over to them, and we have to declare all weapons and technology. So, if you have anything that you feel like you need to hide, a <laughs> thumbs up to, uh, <laughs> um, to escape. And uh, 
<laughs> Anything you need to ditch, I would do it now. I think when you're looking at Eska as well, like she does just look like she's in her suit, right? So, mm -hmm. like, you couldn't really tell she was carrying anything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think she'll have any trouble of hiding her mystical things that she manifests. Yeah, and she's um, standing with like her hands on her hips, and she just turns and looks at the fucking war machine plate armored man <laughs> with the cannons. And she says, mm. "You, on the other hand, Dad, uh, they've you know they've encountered plenty of androids, and are, they'll understand that not all of this is." Optional. <laughs> the, not all of it, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> she looks different. Didn't you look different? Yes. <laughs> People change. So if they scan your ID, <laughs> you Androids like change. She narrows her eyes when you say that, like, totally sceptical. <laughs> um, I think we all know that she's thinking that clearly it's like, we look like people that have just murdered people and turned up here. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> well, sort of keep in mind there's probably blood and splashes down the side of that fucking jeep. <laughs> and basically, uh, look. Simple explanation. Don't need to explain anything with Alice. Did They're not just, gonna understand did you say, that if you do. Did you put your hand on her shoulder? Sorry. No, in his oh, in, in next five. Sorry, just for a second like... I thought you were just like doing that thing where you were mansplaining to her. <laughs> you were leaning on it. I'm getting your attention. Um, <laughs> that, that, that you are in the conversation with me thing. Mm -hmm. um, very middle class, like some of my middle class family do it. it <laughs> it's quite endearing, actually. I quite, I quite like. It. <laughs> I make fun of him for it. Um, but anyway. Yeah, so I sort of do that thing and say, look, you don't need to explain anything about the situation with Alice. They they don't have a clue who any of us are. That doesn't matter. If it if you are asked, you have simply made some recent upgrades. Sure. That'll yeah. work. Well, Furler, uh, I think... No, they said just to declare weapons. We get to keep them right. They only said declare. Mm. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure if they have any problem with anything we're carrying, we'll uh, find out about it soon enough. I better speak to the others. I think at that point the captain probably comes into shot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't particularly cut my nails. <laughs> captain, uh, did you hear what I was? I would kind of eye roll, and I'd be like, yes. They want us to declare our weapons. Your eyes scream. I don't think they're going to ask you to declare your hands, though, so you'll be out. Are you sure? They are lethal weapons. Oh, yeah, oh, biological. Man. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, Zig's the scariest thing you have with you, though. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't look it. <laughs> which I will, oh, which right. actually, which. It, I will see aloud because Lyco is Lyco. It's like, uh, they don't need to know about anything that you can do. It's not actually a gun. They don't care. That's fine. You're non threatening. Um, Chekos. Chekos you're a steward. She actually just holds up her badge. Yeah, you're good. Um, Shrugs. <laughs> Alice. Alice, like, salutes you and goes to finger gun you, and then, like, she, like, stops herself and, like, throws the gun away and then thumbs up. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, um, you're. Are you an AI? The... What are you? Anyway, doesn't matter. Your technology, as far as they're concerned, be. Um, just be yourself. It'll be fine. I think we're. I think we're. I think we're good, Captain. She looks so confused, but I see. Because I, mean, <laughs> I, I was, was gonna tell her to like be robotic, and then I was like, 
No, this is perfect. She has no social skills. It'll be fine. Yeah, because like you said, be yourself. She has no idea who she is right now. So, <laughs> a lot happened to her. Um, yeah, some have had wilder rides than others. So, yeah, she she's probably just lost in thought, thinking, be myself. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so I guess you'll approach the uh, the checkpoint then. You set up and <laughs> yeah. Do you use present? everything you have with you or do you use how many of my guns did i take i think i threw quite a few in <laughs> I don't even i'm gonna make the offer i've got a knowledge space chamber mm-hmm. that i can fit 25 bulk in so like a three foot by three foot cube i can throw some gear in there i don't think i'll hide anything because i am you know associated affiliated with the steward still so it would feel needlessly What's the word? You know, yeah, it, it, it would be an unnecessary bit of skullduggery. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So I, I think I have probably my two pistols, my rifle, my knife. But I gave that to Shakos, didn't I? Mm-hmm. But then yeah. she threw it away. <laughs> uh, did she throw it away? I think because she got one of the guns. Remember? I don't remember her throwing it away, but maybe she did. Oh. Maybe she still has it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You, you can decide. Like, would she still have it? I, I think, think she, she probably would. Either she'd have it, or she'd have gave it back to you when got when she got a gun. So either well, way, shall we shall we say then that I held on to it because I do like having my knife for the appearance of having the knife. Well, if you got her a gun, a, a recharged gun, then you, you got your knife back. I think that's fair. Yeah, because I think did we not use uh, some of the cap stuff? I remember that being what we did. Yeah. So yeah, I I will have that knife, two holstered guns, one gun in my arm, you know, slung, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And oh, are, also, I suppose I do have some technology on me, but. And your eyes aren't as fucking weird on this planet as everybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I do have some like tech items on me, but nothing that they'll, you know, go. That's potentially dangerous. It's pretty standard. I think yeah. I've got some cuffs. And it's the equivalent of you like, chucking stuff through the fucking airport scanner, right? Um, yeah. They're basically just scanning for like viral content or high explosive content, quite frankly. So, anyone get any viral content or high explosive content? Mm. A bunch of flares. Next. As, how do you feel about my plasma cannon or my artillery laser? They're probably besides myself, no. Um, I think I think Zig would declare absolutely everything. He just empty his bag. I think what will happen is you start going through one by one. Um, S Kate just like goes as soon as you start putting stuff on the computer, she goes up to like one, oh! of, the, one of the officers to get like searched essentially first. Um. And then they get her to stand, you know, and then their glove just kind of like does a scan of them. Very high tech space scanners. Um, and it picks up nothing on her, obviously. Uh, mm-hmm. And then she goes through and then she waits on the rest of you. And I think as soon as you start putting through this fucking arsenal through the scanner, the uh, you can already see there is a vehicle coming, like a kind of sled type thing, um, very fancy vehicle, like a like a very expensive version of the buggy you guys had, um, coming up and it's clearly got like heavier armed reinforcements for the border, um, <laughs> already coming this way, just in case anything went awry, and mm. um, they're basically halfway here already, you, because it's not the far to the gate, in the main city, when the Officer that's scanning everything and uh, gets to all the fucking artillery and heavy weapons and anything basically Zora's probably put in there as well, like the fucking Doshko. Um, they're like, you know, we can't allow you inside with this, like these weapons. Like, personal arms are not an issue, but this is. <laughs> Were you off to start a war? No, we just came from one. Is that so? On well, Absalom, I mean, you see. Yes, sir. 
Right. It's a dangerous place these days. Right. Yeah. Um, and then I think at this point, like Shakos walks up and she just like says, um, she just starts barking in Versailles to them, um, and then she just hand, like holds up her badge, and then is pointing at all the stuff, and then shouting more at the guy, who then starts <coughs> shouting at her, and then the other guy that scanned Escape walks over and starts shouting at both of them. Um, if it helps, I speak first, right? Well, mostly it's literally just Shakos giving them abuse. Um, she's swearing at them, saying, Call my superior officer, clear this, I outrank you fuckers. <laughs> User border patrol scum. User the doorman, I am the nightclub owner. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's just giving them abuse, um, and she's like, "This is going inside." <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, are you obviously listening in? <laughs> yes. Well, I think it's probably his stuff that caused the biggest fuss, right? The artillery stuff. Uh, I think sort of I'm... over to him and uh, is is uh, is she's charming and versatile. She has a way with them. And like the the two guards are basically like, we have protocol. You can't just walk in here with fucking artillery grade weaponry. This isn't okay. You know, I have a, you know, it's not paperwork is the term, but they've got protocols and processes to to go through. Um, you know, if it changes your mind, I could create artillery grade stuff out of your average kitchen. It doesn't really matter if we take this in or not. And the, guy, the guy just goes, "You're not helping." <laughs> <laughs> And she goes, see, he's a, wa a walking arsenal anyway, you know. <laughs> uh, and then, I really, I really need to... One day I'm going to sit down and go over with every one of you how to speak to stewards, <laughs> because, oh my god. <laughs> and, uh, Including the, her. They're just being illogical. Well, these guys aren't actually stewards. These guys are just versus, uh, like uh, the Oh yeah, they're guards. just security. Yeah, they're basically like city guards. But um, I'm using the term sort yeah. of like in, the, in in generic sense, like police. Yeah, the space but police. But that cops. term doesn't really exist. So yeah, the cops. Um, yeah. The stewards would be the space cops. cops. Yeah. Um, the cops. The stews. And then. <laughs> stews. Yeah. <laughs> the stew. But, yeah. The. They eventually agree that they'll put this stuff into holding like a lockup or a locker as it were um, she also then uh, as you're like about to walk away from this stuff and she's like the stuff is essentially going to be posted to us inside but for some reason we're not allowed to walk through the wall with it um, and she gives you a look next as if to say it is a compromise Except this. She doesn't necessarily know you could speak Versight though. Um, unless you've spoken Versight to them. Uh, I think that might be when I said that unhelpful yeah, comment. It probably fine. was the first thing in Versight I said. Oh, yeah, then I would have understood it. Damn it, retcon! No, sorry. It's okay, it's fine. And then, um, and then like, as you maybe like, kind of agree to the compromise that you'll get your stuff just not instantaneously while they're like finished verifying who you guys are. Um, she stops, turns around, and starts shouting at them again. Um, and then she basically makes arrangements for the vehicles to also be put into a lockup uh, as well. Um, and then as she's walking away, she shouts something about them having to make sure it's fucking valid as well. <laughs> That's appreciated. And then she kind of just like punches you in your armoured shoulder as she walks by uh, and goes to catch up with Lyco. And she just looks at the guy who's about to like hand scan her and just growls. The first thing I'm doing when we're on the other side is building a bomb, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, this planet's scrapped now anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you just, like start to head through like, you know, the equivalent of a customs check. Uh, very like paperwork heavy. Uh, Shakos and Lyco can pretty much handle most of that. Uh, and then you just kind of get to like essentially the other side of the airport as it were, you know, inside uh, like the city strip as it were the first thing Eskit kind of goes, okay that went 
probably as well as I could have hoped for. And we're in. What it's now? Something. And she's looking at the group as if she has stuff she needs to do. Obviously she What does. now? We... Well, I do my thing, you do yours. We try and keep... Ooh, Hugong. That's it, it's Alex. Ah, of course. I'll continue with this yeah. bit because yeah, um, we uh we try and we try and keep everyone else out of trouble. She just looks because obviously she's standing facing the group and it's just the lineup shot. Alice is probably <laughs> picking her nose. Zig's probably putting flares back in his mouth. Um, yeah. Like Zora's, <laughs> fuck knows what Zora's doing. <laughs> big, big Probably just looking at his guns longingly. Like, um, just like, what are you doing with my guns, man? <laughs> like, oh, you're, you're, you're far away from them now. Um, yeah, no, I'm just looking at them. It's like, shouldn't a friend from the distance like, um, <laughs> go so, by? So you're just staring back at the building you've walked through. Um, I feel I feel naked without my guns, right? This is quite disconcerting for a mask. Like, <laughs> and S. Kate says. Given the steward-heavy conversation to get in here, no doubt they will wish to check in on you both. She talks to both Sharkos and Michael. And mm. then she says, I need to secure access to the vault on the verses. I assume I can contact you when I'm ready. Yeah. Go ahead. Hopefully your weapons will be cleared by then. If not, I'll see what I can do to equip you all with something for the upcoming struggle. She kind of like pauses on that word a bit. Because you can clearly see that she's thinking <laughs> it's us versus the black dragon. <laughs> um, and she's like, she kind of like nods to you, Lyco, who she's unofficially declared the leader it seems um, and then she says I'll be in touch do not leave versus without trying to make contact with me of course she nods and then she just like makes her light cycle and fucks off down a street So you turn around and Shakos is kind of looking at her, uh, her badge that she's like opened into the kind of computer components of it. Uh, and she's like, yeah, we should probably check in. Good idea. So uh, what's everybody else doing? Or are they coming with? I feel like so I'd probably just go with. Mm -hmm. He's probably not got much to do in this place. Could look out for a shipyard or something. That's true, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the point. Good, good. Remember, it's like <laughs> I'm going to go to a shipyard. <laughs> um, not sure where the nearest one is from here. Uh, can't be too hard to find. Versus, don't, I'm sure it'll be say, fine. Like Zora could walk five minutes and ask a question. There's probably a fucking VI robot that would f give him a hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like versus is. We're talking the Mass Effect level of everything um, here. What? Yep, yep. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll find something. Well, uh, so, Shakos and Lyco are ready to head off towards the kind of like steward HQ. Uh, mm -hmm. Zara obviously mentions about going to get like arrangements for the ship made. Uh, what's Nyx up to? Um, Put it back, on. <gasps> I imagine he probably goes with the captain to um, facilitate mm -hmm. yeah. and I want to say translate <laughs> between the Vesk and the yeah, ship yard mechanics. Yeah, I just imagine like, <laughs> Zora just speaking louder in the Viscarium tongue. Yeah, and it depends what his plan is. I don't know whether he was saying he wants to get the ship salvaged. Yeah. But... 
That's good. I if think he it does, makes sense that you go anyway because you're the mechanic. So yeah, yeah. Whatever decision is going to be, it's either going to be a new ship or it's going to be remember to tell the guys about the bombers you set. <laughs> oh yeah. <'Cause> you didn't <laughs> think even getting the thing salvaged in the first place. Um, yeah. So yeah, and it makes sense to split up the translators. Let's face it. Um, <laughs> now, Zig. True. Uh, Zig will probably follow the captain and, and Nick. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So you head off to go get like the ship, team ship. Mm -hmm. Team sense. ship. Cool. Um. Right now, who's taking Alice? Alice is currently picking her nose. I assume she's coming with us, you know, as the pilot and all. That makes sense. Or whatever other justification I need. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, she's then getting her attention, because she's kind of just not really paying attention to the group, really. I'm trying I mean, to think. Yeah. Like, they... I would just assume she was going with you guys, so I'm not going to take her. <laughs> I'm, I'm just picturing Nick's five just awkwardly, you know. Several meters away, just waving, to get her attention. Yeah, I like that. Like just the idea that you're just like kind of waving a hand, and her just kind of like staring at like all the kind of like air traffic, really. Because think Fifth Element mm -hmm. style levels of traffic in the sky and whatnot. Like it's, it's very bustly. Um, yeah. Very pretty and very shiny. It's like every early kind of early two thousands sci-fi city scape. Um, but yeah, she's kind of just staring off into space and yeah I think after like a minute or two like she just goes she just turns stops picking her nose and then just waves back at you um uh, and then I do the universal gesture for over here and she goes oh and uh like kind of like does the really big elongated steps and runs up to you hi steps longly <laughs> uh the captain wants to go and see about a ship? Ships? I don't know. She looks over to the captain. To get the f ship fixed. <laughs> it's hard about right? getting a spectacular ship fixed. <laughs> yeah, because Zig broke her ship. And she looks down at Zig. Zig looks at the floor. I feel like an what? amalgamation of things broke her ship. And like, as Zig's <laughs> looking at the floor, she like kind of leans down and like, kinda, like almost lies on the ground to look under where he's looking, so her face is in his view. Mm. So, like, hi. Hi. And just kind of pokes your nose. Zig definitely, nose definitely twitches pretty um, violently when that happens. She just face all scrunches up. Yeah, and she's just staring, waiting on you to do something, essentially. I think he'd sigh and just look up to the captain and just walk. And then she kind of just like sits up and then goes to like stand up and kind of dust herself off. Although there's no dust because this place is really clean. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. So you guys head off uh, towards some kind of ship yard in this. Find me some kind of navigation role of some kind from our wonderful skills list. And we'll see who, who finds their way. Um, same for you, Lyco. Ooh, it's a contest now, is it? Yeah. Don't know why I said it like that. I'm here for it. What would be, uh... Yeah, right. Piloting? It probably... That feels wrong. <laughs> culture. Culture? Culture. Uh, I would say definitely culture, culture for Lyco, right? Because um, I know the place a bit, yeah. Yeah. I'm well, rolling me some culture, lads. For you guys. Oh, I wrote it twice. Uh, the first no. one was 21. Survival's a good shout for you guys, since I don't know if I was about to say it. survival, but I wasn't sure if you would. Yeah, no, it's survival. Was applicable. It was for finding a shipyard. What about engineering? Um. Hmm. You can smell the shipyard no, smog, please. you know, for your engineering. Because that's brown. Ah, yes, that is the smell of shipyard. Exactly <laughs> what I'm like. <laughs> I wouldn't it's basically my profession skill. I would say piloting's a better shout than engineering. Yep. For that one, um, it's not bad though. 
it's not bad, but I would, <laughs> say, um, I would say you could get away with it if it's piloting, but not engineering. Um, I can pilot. But yeah, so you can tell me who's going to be rolling for, I guess, team. Is that? Is the captain mm. leading the way, or? Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, probably. He's probably really adamant in getting this done ASAP because yeah. you know his ship's about to get jacked get or boosted. A, as I said, survival or piloting. I will do survival. Um, because we haven't used that much, if survival. ever. I mean, I'm... oh my god. <laughs> it's going well then. I don't have terrible survival as well. <laughs> I just, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That sure is some poor rolling there. <laughs> yep. okay. Well, you know, usually in most cities, yards an off quadrant, right? Yeah, we've like, that's, that's probably what I would say. Double <laughs> triggers on a D20 yet, by the way. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Um, let's just say that uh, Team Lyco get to where they're going first. Probably <laughs> they know the way. Uh, um, that's cheating. <laughs> I mean, it's it's something. <laughs> yeah, but there's more of you. <laughs> so Lad. it's probably like as soon as like Lyco and Shakos go into like a a jog towards like Steward HQ, and then you guys all walk off in different directions initially, uh, and then all kind of like go right. Okay, now everybody follow the captain. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's just check the info sphere. Yeah, it's um, probably the best idea. <laughs> yeah. Let's just wander. <laughs> but yeah, do you want to use your knowledge of piloting there next to check the infosphere and uh, <laughs> m maybe roll better? Infosphere. Oh, I should have used celebrity and then I could have just had. I'll just pop it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, well, Zora just walks in circles and then next just goes to the VI. Probably. And goes, hello, can I have this please? Cool. Cheers. <laughs> I feel like he would just like walk to a corner and you'd see him like go to step one direction. Like, you know that awkward mm. way when you you don't really know what way you're going. Mm. You end up walking like five different directions. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to me how uncomfortable a lot of people are, like literally with backtracking in the street. Mm. Yeah, you people take your phone out. Not doing it. It's funny. I've, I've done it myself. I've caught myself doing it, but I just kind of like take it in my stride eventually. And it's like, oh well, I don't know. I'm gone. That's normal, right? Like, <laughs> I also find it funny when you know they're talking to themselves, as if commentating about what they've just done to no one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's me as well. That... It's, it's, it's just everything, I think. Um, a notorious self-talker am I. But yeah, so... <laughs> oh, I'm terrible for self-talking. I'm all horrible for it. Shakos... I've invented a new term for it, apparently. Shakos and Lyco, uh, you just head up to HQ, and mm -hmm. yeah, there is a... An interesting sight. There's a lot of Vesk here. Okay, this seems like a great oh, start. Oh, goody. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah, so, head up to HQ. Uh, again, Vesk and your typical stewards on guard. Which is interesting. On guard? Yeah. Around the street HQ. As in, like, they're guarding or they're looking very, like, uh, uncomfortable? Don't know, you're not right. <laughs> um, <laughs> when you see on guard, I assume you mean literally on guard. Yeah. Rather than. On guard! Your, uh, Touché! Yeah, yeah, yeah rather than drooling. Um, yeah. Literally just defensive. No, I thought, I was just thinking more, like, apprehensive, like. <laughs> Guard, if you know what I mean. Ah, yes, the apprehensive Vesk. That's probably a ship. Um, that would be amazing. It's probably some smuggler. It's not. Even sounds like an Ian Bank ship. The apprehensive yeah. Vesk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will. I mean, I'll encourage Shakos to like have her badge ready and the uh, approach. Shakos just kind of like as you are approaching, he's maybe slow the jog into obviously a, a walk. Actually. Oh, the Vesk were a surprise. Yep, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't anticipating that, but let's let's see if it comes up. Your hand shoot a knife back. 
So like, well, I rescued you. this from the uh, incompetence at the gate. Appreciated. I like to keep it on me. And she's Just... like, she like goes to like hand it to you, and she goes, "You are seriously gonna take this? You've got those fuckers in your arms. I've got nothing." People don't need to know about those. It helps create the right impression if it looks like I feel the need to carry enough, you see? She's like, my arms don't do that. And you were going to take the only weapon we have. Keep the us. damn knife. <laughs> <sighs> and then she just like smirks at you. And she's like, this is the most fun I've had in a long time. And she like puts the knife, you know, up her sleeve. <laughs> you know, I know you think you don't get promoted because jesters broadly at her. I can't help but think maybe it's you. She just narrows her eyes and sticks her tongue out. She's like, act professional. And she hits you in the chest. <laughs> and then, eh... Uh, Immensely. You say, uh, start your approach. And, eh... Uh, it's... Let's see. Alashanta and a vesk. Walk into a bar. Approach. That's about accurate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is exactly how the campaign started. And then... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. Uh, it was the name of the bar. And then uh, you hey. head up to. Well played. Yeah, and as the celebrity here, it's a place everybody knew his name. And uh... <sighs> I know. Wow, man. I He's know. on fire. He really is, man. Like, like I was punishing. Really is. Um... Yeah. Wow. But yeah, so wow. And I've just re upped my painkillers, it's fine. And then <laughs> 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 I'm good to go. <laughs> so So gotta hurt my game. Anyway. You get approached by them. Shakos mm -hmm. flashes her badge. The Vesk looks to the Lashanta, who just kind of shrugs and just like nods to go in. Uh, nods at the person on the kind of booth thing and then like the kind of the gates open and you just head in. Um yeah, like there's loads of Vesk here. Loads. Mm. The normal mm. amount is none. Yeah. What's going on here? This is a pretty massive increase in numbers. Like some. Oh mm, maybe shit. not a shock, but this <laughs> is Um and then, like, Shakos heads up to, like, the kind of main desk of the, the HQ, and she's like, Who's in charge? Them, please. Puts her badge down. Absalom survivors. Dead associate. <laughs> and then she just starts tapping on the desk for the person to go do something. And it's probably, like, you know, an a million year old Isoki man that's behind the desk. That kind of, like, twitches his nose. And then gets off his chair and just slowly walks away. And she grabs her badge back and goes, Well, we could be dead by the time he gets back. And she kind of um, to you. She's looking around and she's like, I don't know. How long do you live? And she's just narrowing her eyes and she's like, Probably significantly less since meeting back up with you for that drink. Eh. I think I'm a good man to have around. She just, like, you can tell she's about to just cut in or something when a, a commander, whatever his name was, was it Bobak or Bodek or whatever his name Bobak, was? Bobak, yes. Yeah. Bobak. Um, or Dodek, I don't know. I or was it Babak? I can't Babak. remember, actually. It was Babak. It was Babak. Um, yeah, commander Babak. Um, I think I would stand up slightly straighter because he's someone I know his rank immediately. Yeah. Without even yeah. having to look. He like appears straight away because I think at that point, um, it's just she goes to cut in and then stops and then stands straight and you turn around and stand straight and um, mm -hmm. and he's there and he's like, Shakos, Quint, Commander. And he's looking at like whatever you're wearing and dismisses it and then uh, he's like, why is it border controller telling me use of left Absalom a day ago? It's probably not far off. Um, timing I'm not exactly sure of. 
Have you been in contact with Absalom? Absalom was... And he kind of like... He stops and he's like... What do you remember? We, uh... The last thing we did was return for Shakos. You were... Some sort of barrier you'd become trapped in. We had been... Trying to get away because... Something had attacked, particularly attacked the, uh, uh, Eoxian workers, and they had sort of, well, it seemed like a all-round mess. He kind of, like, one of his forehands waves you to, like, hush. He's like, let's go to... Somewhere less, and he kind of just looks at the, the entrance hallway and goes, Follow me. And then uh, he just like waves you with like his one of his upper arms and his two back arms, like his two lower arms are like folded behind his back, and he just like walks very kind of swiftly um, to like an office. It's like through quite a deep bit of the building. Um, he's maybe walked for like five or so minutes um, quite swiftly, and then a uh, he opens like a door to gesture he's all in. So as you head in, it's clearly like where he's working from. And uh, there's loads of like hollow screens all kind of overlapping and whatnot and like pushed to the side. Uh, and then uh, he just walks up to one of them and he brings up like, you know, what looks like wrecked Absalom as like a big picture. And he's like, What was the date? You just went to Absalom. Um, and then you can obviously just recite the date. There's no need to actually like have you yeah, okay. guesswork it, but you would like Michael would know the space date. Um, yeah, I, I probably would. Yeah, and Chakos like, kept track of that. Chakos says it as well. Um, Chakos is kind of a slightly bit more of a vague answer because obviously it was somewhere between being trapped and not being killed. Um, o'clock, and I, uh, yeah. He turns around and he like brings up like you know a news feed. It's been three weeks since that day. Did we lose that much time? So where is it? Have you been? Because it wasn't Absalom one day ago. No, we. 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 We drifted. His eyes narrow, as if expecting an, e an explanation. It may, it may not have been the safest option considering the circumstances, but and like Shakos, like kind of like puts her hand on like your forearm or whatever, and then she says to the commander, like commander, Quint saved me from, and she kind of explains the kind of section of the station. I, I was trapped there. I, you know, infected. Eoxian's former station personnel, hard to tell in the end, to be honest. Um, and she's doing that thing where she's being as abrupt as she can be to her commander. And then uh, she's like, Quint got me away at the station. His ship is shit. The drive was... She shrugs. She's like, I don't know how it works. I'm not an engineer. But we were, we were adrift shall we say. And then she looks at Quint as if, confirm this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know it. Three weeks, you say. And then the commander just kind of like nods and he's starting to like do that thing where he's rubbing like where his mouth kind of plate is that covers his mouth. And he's like, you will have noticed our support outside. Yeah, it was unexpected. The Viscarium were quick to offer their their aid in our time of need. Huh. And he kind of like, there is a very distinct tone to the way he said that. And I... Uh, 
May I speak freely? One of his hands goes up, and then two of his other hands like open a desk and like lift out a device. He sits it on the desk, turns the device on, it's emitting a low hum, and then the hand that was hushing you gestures towards you. Which is exactly why I said it, because I don't have a lot for them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I had feared when we saw the situation that the Vesk may attack. I, If this is an attack, it's the most subtle thing I've ever seen them do. He kind of like shakes I... his head at that. He's like, I don't believe this is the Vesk making a move on the Pact Worlds. I don't attribute this level of subtlety to the Viscarium tactic. And he says that like with the most tact he can muster. Um, and then you just hear so, Sarkos be like, yeah, dumb lizards that shoot good. And then a... Uh, I shoot her a bit of a look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Shinwa, don't shoot good! <laughs> uh, but at that point, like, both, like, Babak and obviously like will shoot her the same look. And then she just goes, sir. <laughs> and then uh, he says, The Vesk are convinced this is an attack by another faction. And he kind of just leaves it to you to try and like fill in the blanks. I, I believe they might be. It is an external faction. Um, at least it certainly seems to be from what I understand from <laughs> my contact with the Axians. And he, he kind of just goes, about that. What is exactly your current status with the Eoxians? I... Truthfully, I don't know. There is some... They're scared. There is some debate over the... Motivations... Of your... Associate. And then he's like, <sighs> he like brings up like a file. And he's looking as if looking for a Sindial. And he's like, yes, the one known as Sindial. Not without reason. I learned to trust him with some trepidation. He, uh... His goals and interests may not be ours, but they were compatible enough. And anything that anything that frightens the Bone Sages frightens me, and I believe from what you're telling me, the Zer the fucking Zer I nearly said Zerg. Zerg <laughs> the Zerg <laughs> um, the Vesk are they they may know more than we do. They know enough to be I don't know if scared really applies, but worried. I just nod slowly and says, The Vesk bring concerns. They're. Hmm. And he's like, You can clearly see that he's struggling to like almost be diplomatic, but he's. Then he kind of just like. He kind of like his shoulders slump a bit, and <laughs> as if he's relaxing a bit, and he sits down for the first time in the room. And uh, I don't know if you guys are still standing or if you've actually sat down. God. Probably stay standing. Yeah, just... I think at that point, like maybe like Shako sits down then, and um, after like he sits down, and uh, he says, "Vesk intelligence have concerns that this is a subtle ploy by the Aslanti Star Empire." What was that last word you just said? That you cut off. You said yes. Aslanti Star something. Star Empire. Okay, okay, cool. Um, general culture on that one? Yes, I do. Actually, one sec, yeah, no. Yeah, it ruled properly. And it ruled rather yes. well. That's a big, big rule. The phrase cool. tyrannical stellar expansionists comes to mind. Um, okay. Basically, uh, don't have a home planet, conquer all planets, keep conquering planets, taking people as slaves, and to keep going. Coming from the Vesk? Oh, I, I, I recognize them from the book somewhere. Just um, at the quick call. They're very much 
they're quite well to do. You know, if anybody's seen the Chronicles of Riddick, it's like the kind of uh, the Death Worshipper. Yeah, like the not quite Necrons. It was like whatever the fuck they were called. Like, necro necro there was something necro to do with necro yeah necrons are a different thing necromonger they were necromonger yes. right that's right but same thing so right ne no necrons are immortal uh, i know i know what necrons, necrons are so, yeah so like that's like you know quite a bit about these people yeah. who knows why maybe you were stationed like far out at some point um or maybe you were meant to go on like a like yeah, I, maybe I did all the prep work. Yeah, like maybe you were it's supposed to go somewhere assignment. that was meant yeah. to like... Maybe you were even meant to infiltrate them at some point, you know? Who knows? Um, you were meant to maybe go like, suss it out, go undercover or some shit. Um, did you say they were undead? No. No. Oh, alright, cool, cool, cool. I don't know. Um, but they're like... They are human, aren't they? They're, they're just... Um, conquerors, essentially. Uh, like, they just take over loads of places. Um, yeah, like, very, very kind of rough gist of it. Thousands of years ago, adventurers and scholars from Aslan, human, humanity's first great empire on Galarian, began tentatively exploring planets on their own. Most of these undertakings ended in disaster. The Aslan in itself was destroyed in a planet-shaking ca cataclysm, but one outpost survived on a distant world called New Thesperia, cut off from their original home world by the failure of magical portals. Aslanti colonists used their mastery of magic and high technology to settle on their new planet and its neighbours over the course of millennia, until the discovery of the drift enabled them to conquer nearby star systems and inhabitants giving rise to the Aslanti Star Empire that now claims a dozen star systems under its hegemony. Uh, blah 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 blah. Every day they take over becomes their slaves. Mm. So, that is reading that purely because of your ridiculously good role there. Um, yeah. But yeah, the. The worry there is they were a problem for tomorrow, right? That was the gist yeah. of like the threat of them because the Vesk were a bigger threat than them immediately, right? Like the um the Aslanti were too far away to be a big a big issue. And then they'd probably get to the Vesk first. And then the Vesk were too busy trying to fight the Pact Worlds. And then the swarm happened and yeah. the Pact Worlds and the Vesk met and went, Cool, let's deal with the swarm. So whether the Aslanti just never encountered the swarm or have dealt with their incursion of it, you know, it's scary mm -hmm. enough. Um, but yeah, this is what Vesk intelligence has. So as a Babak kind of sits back and looks at you as if he knows that you know about the Aslanti. And he says, um, it is assumed, if the Vesk intelligence is correct, that this is the long game the subtle knife and he just kind of like looks at you <laughs> what do we expect their uh their move to be do they have we any indication that they might actually be on their way or is this And he kind of like shrugs and he's like the steward intelligence bureau have them well within their empire boundaries you know so... how we have completely respected our pact world boundaries and he nods like once at you <laughs> I nod as if yeah <laughs> spies are everywhere <laughs> Um, he was like, I have no doubt if this is a ploy by them, they're already here. However, there is no evidence of this, yet I see Vesk everywhere around me. This concerns me, because I do... Commander, our group has had some insight into the situation, and we believe that the entity that attacked Absalom Station and the Aoxians is an entity we have encountered before. How much How much would you know, know from the first... I don't think I've told him really anything about this, have I? Thing, no. no. Um, <laughs> you mostly if turned this up is and indeed... went, 
I'll also be here because remember Shaq yeah. Austin, you went for drinks. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, then the everything alarms. started going yeah. because they turned up. Yeah. We essentially um, did they learned everything about what was going on until like the trip towards Absalom, like just there. Like yeah. that's when we got full clarity. Well, not full clarity, but you know what I mean, clarity yeah. at least. Like, well, we've built it up over time, certainly. Yeah. Um, we we encountered a psychic entity while on a job, which took us to a former research station. Um, whether our arrival <laughs> coincided with this creature reawakening or caused it, hard to say. The place was already experiencing some. Temporal distortions, I suppose. It was all deeply strange, but particularly this entity, which obviously had been someone's research subject at some point, was in some form of stasis, like a cocoon form. It reawoken, and we have encountered it again since um, while we were retrieving an associate of ours from captivity it uh entered and it killed a number of um well of drow um this was your recent um excursion shall i say to the diaspora delivery yes sir i see a joint venture with the Church of Abadar, if I recall. Yes, sir. And he says it with that word as if to say, what the f how many pies? Right, that's that kind of, <laughs> why are you involved in so many things? <laughs> it's, so. uh, <laughs> unfortunately, the circumstances which we found ourselves in as a result of this particular job we've taken have tied us into any number of events which have been difficult for us to negotiate. I, I don't want to be too evasive. Um, I respect your authority, sir. And needless to say, not all my activities outside my time of employment with the stewards would necessarily hold up in light of steward ethics uh, suffice to say we were caught between Abadar and the Aspis Consortium uh, yeah, he kind of this sits, resulted he, like, he sits up in his chair but and he does he kind of like cuts him and he's like Yes, I don't exactly approve of your associations, but considering you were no longer in my employ, who am I to judge how you make? And he goes to, like, say, a living, and then he just stops. <laughs> and he says how you make ends meet. And I can't exactly offer you a pardon, if that's what you're after. No, sir. I, uh... But can I count on your assistance in this crisis absolutely no you came here with purpose do you have something to ask of me before I ask of you so consulting the group out of character what exactly do I see here <laughs> <laughs> How careful do I need to be? Um, yes, yeah, so, really, <laughs> so guys, you have a swatch there, folks. So let's review. Is there a Vesk invasion? Is 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 there an Aslanti invasion? Are they both in it together? I mean, or is it all just misunderstood and it's actually the entity? Urgalas. Oh, it's the um... Urgalas. The Peloponnesian War, right? Um, <laughs> there's the story of the army that attacks the camp by night. I can't remember which factions were fighting in this. Well, Peloponnesian War would be Greek armies, I suppose. Yeah, that's um, what I'm pretty sure. And they attack the other army 
that are encamped at night and slaughter them. And then in the morning they realise it's their own faction they've attacked. <laughs> um, it's like that sort of fog of war, mm. not having full information, and everyone feels they have to act <laughs> while the you know strike while the iron is hot. And yeah. then only later discover, oh no, we've accidentally, you know, rather than hammering the sword, we've accidentally hammered our balls or something, you know. It's... Yeah, eloquent, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah As always. So, so what's the, yeah, what is the group thoughts that, as like Cole was querying there? <laughs> or Colin, I should say, technically. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I don't know. Like, what is it you're asking? What, what exactly like, is it you want? Like, exactly, like, what's your end? What's your end game to this, I guess? Well, we want to make things easy for Escape Furler in accessing the vault, right? So, mm -hmm. this is an opportunity. To gain access potentially, but then do you want to I mean, name drop her? No, <laughs> clearly we don't. <sighs> and then to, mm, I don't know. Like, I mean, if yeah, one hand like telling the truth, this whole time I was actually going to his places. But <laughs> <laughs> funny that, right? It does happen. In our I mean, sometimes. not not like got his place, but you know what I mean. It's like it's always probably been the better choice. It's just. I think the difference is Lyco has oh. a good rapport with Babak, right? Like, it's a commanding officer where he's quite pragmatic. He's like, Lyco mm -hmm. is good at stuff. I'll get Lyco to do stuff that I know he can do. Like, deal with fucking bone sages that he didn't have to then deal with. Um, and then pretty much look to the other way for about a year. Let's face yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I mean, in the end, wait, like, you just explain to him the sort of. Maybe stuff, well, stuff I don't do. need to be specific. Maybe I say we need access to prevent a threat related but to this, think of you know, this way, right? Uh, if it's about the let's say it's access to the vault you ask him for, mm -hmm. right? Um, he did kind of imply, and Lyco would know this: the stewards don't have any jurisdiction over the vault. It's the mm. church, and you are the kind of you're the one with the contact to the church. So the really, we don't necessarily the commander. worry about that, right? Well, from yeah, the commander point of view, you go, get. "Can you put me in touch with the church?" And you'd be like, "Here's their phone number. You should have, yeah. his, you know." Yeah. Just from the fact that <clears throat> he had, he did just mention your joint adventure. Yes. Yeah. Or jo joint adventure. Um, but obviously, SK isn't really in a position to simply go about this all by herself. Mm -hmm. Is she? I mean, she certainly she... didn't give that impression. How well known would like the rank of SK be? Like, but like I get it, like. Anybody that knows how title. the church, like the church bank, works, right? Yeah. Anybody that knows I'm that assuming... will know that. It's a bit like saying, "Who knows what a lieutenant means?" Right. Yeah. Does... Assuming, like... <laughs> Does she just? Did she just watch official dem of the city and the... but maybe you cut out there sorry for me so does she just oh, sorry. that's all i got in terms of like obviously she didn't want her presence to be known but is that just you know i don't want my presence to be known to everyone i don't want it to be on record that i was here but i can happily do my business here provided i'm acting outside of the eye of the city and the stewards well, I mean, you got the you impression know, she that didn't want to be in the system, right? Right. Um, so in that case, I probably don't need to actually get that assistance then, because if I feel like she is capable of acting here and doesn't need to stay completely in the shadows, like it's not like she can't contact the church here or something. And she just did that bring the church here. doesn't have the same sway. Yeah. Because remember, she's the one that dialed <laughs> the fucking golden D20 to get here. So, yeah. and she brought you here for a reason, right? She was like, cool. Um, it's the home of the stewards that you will probably want. And there's a vault door here I can use. So. Yeah, so she can, We. I, I have them. Right, cool. So if Lyco feels like she can do her own thing, then that's absolutely fine. Um, 
then the question becomes what do I ask of them? Because, yeah, so for everybody else, Babak's question was do you have anything to ask of me before I ask of you? Because uh, he's painfully aware that Lyco sought him out. Care cuts back. <clears throat> ASAP. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's good. Yeah, Esco yeah, yeah. said that user getting it back anyway. It's just going yeah. through processing. Basically, yeah. what it means is they're probably all being fucking fitted with trackers, quite frankly. Yeah. Oh, nice, man. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> if we can really find any trackers. City, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, all I could think of would be a fast track on the guns, but I mean, I feel like there's more that we could get. Keep in mind, so, S Kate said if, yeah. if she needed to equip you guys, she could probably manage something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she was really not fussed about the equipment, quite frankly. And we have money in it to city. I was about to say that, yeah. I mean, that could be yeah. an excuse to upgrade as well, I suppose. Like, we were all yeah. talking about it anyway. So. Yes, I agree. Um, so, I feel like we don't necessarily need to ask him for anything. Yeah. Unless you could think of, like, some head of the for something, but I don't really know. I can't really well, think much. The best way to think of it that way, right, is what is it Zora's trying to achieve? Right? Um. Then... You go to Nix and you think, right, what is it Nix is trying to achieve? Then you go to Lyco, what is Lyco trying yeah. to achieve? Then you go to Zig, what is Zig trying to achieve? And can he, in his position, help with any of those tasks? Well, let's think about the goals then. So, uh, obviously, is there Hugger Showbads? Um, <laughs> get shit fixed. He probably could get you to a Showbad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that seems... But is it a cuddly show bad? <laughs> it's going to be a, a cuddly show bad. Uh, I reckon so. I mean... None, none of this seems like... I mean, maybe you could find us a Skittermander. But Skittermanders <laughs> tend to come together for specific goals and then just <laughs> fuck off. They're not really great companions. Like, they seem like good guys. They seem like, like an entire species of quite decent folk. But they... <laughs> They don't really do the whole team thing well. Like they have a, th that is literally their stick. It's like we're gonna fix this, and then we're just gonna leave. Yeah, it's like if one gets the idea that building a barn is a good idea, they'll all be like, "Ah, oh, it's amazing! Let's build this barn." As soon as they're done, like everybody fucks off. Fuck off! <laughs> yeah, that, that's what they do. Because Even the guy who wanted basically... to build the barn probably Oops, does as well. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, they're basically benevolent critters. Yeah, is how to think of them. Uh, which I love. That I love them. I did kind of want to play one. It just seems like it'd be exhausting. Mm. Um, so, do we have anything then that we feel we need to ask him? <laughs> okay, it doesn't have to be the specifically listed goal that you've put on like, mm -hmm. the goal tracker. Mm -hmm. That's just what you want to claim XP on. Well, it could be a broader thing. Yeah. Yeah. Even something like obviously like Zora mentioned the guns, right? That's very pertinent to Zora's like ideal. Um, but it could even be something like, you know, sourcing transport somewhere, because, like, you might want to, like, travel somewhere else, for example. Um, it might even just be accommodation. Um, it could be somewhere to operate from. i trying to think of, like... That's a thought, because like... taking down a dragon probably isn't easy work. Mm. We might not just mm. be here for, like, one climactic fight, right? That's assuming we could have one climactic fight with the dragon. Can he hook us up with financial support in some way? I think Lycor already knows the answer to that one. I mean, he is already paying me, I think, to be honest with you. I was um, thinking the rest of us. I mean, he probably isn't paying you because it's probably been a year where you've been in the service of a. Uh, yeah, true. Sindale. True. And I don't know if Sindale has really got like a bank account. I think Sindale <laughs> probably just was like, we'll walk the journey of you together. You know? Yeah. No, I think I think, I think he probably just hates things, I'll be honest with you. Um, <laughs> like you said, he, okay. I wouldn't mind, you know, maybe a, a blue gun. And it's when, ah, oh, kills somebody with a blue gun and takes it. This weirdly so, fell into my position. I, um, I think what I might actually ask is well, contacts, what which would help with other 
So obviously, like we know what obviously if you're going to ask, but yeah, like was there anything Zig has goals to achieve that maybe like Babak could help with that Lyco might think of? I mean, like... forgiveness, but anything. Um, can you think of, I don't think he can. I don't think he can forgive me. Calamity um, brain. I coach calamity me. brain. Calamity brain works that's, as well. That's also me. <laughs> um. And, um I don't even think I don't Forzig, think... but if you can oh, think of things that you think Zora might benefit from, etc. You know, like there's. Well, what I was thinking was some contacts. The reason being, like, can you put us in contact with X, Y, Z, so that if we do need to procure weaponry, we can maybe do it a little bit cheaper, transport, etc. Yeah, almost like the best places to buy stuff or discounts or, yeah. or I like mm. wholesale. Like, <laughs> where can where can where can Chakos go and wave the badge for a discount or something Aye. like that? <laughs> Chakos to negotiate the worst idea, but yeah, yeah, well. Mm. Probably find out something about the Vesk as well, I suppose. Who's the ranking Vesk on the planet, you know? Mm. Could never get like some cool him. To do that? I do, honestly don't think that. Yes, you're probably right. You're probably I don't right. Think that would the thing is, right? Do the, the best that. thing is, see by the yeah. time Zora gets to like a fucking shipyard, right? The ranking Vesk probably will know Zora's on the planet. <laughs> yeah, probably. Because Zora's that famous. And this planet's that well, like, surveilled because it's so high tech. Yeah. Um, the idea okay. that Zora has probably already been recognised through customs alone. <laughs> Welcome to being I'm a mega celebrity. celebrity. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling celebrity passively right now. <laughs> isn't your, your like, level 6 ability mega celebrity or something sh ridiculous like that? Uh, my, 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 that's my final level one. Right, I've okay. got celebrity right now. It's crazy. Uh, but, so yeah. Yeah. I've... So like, what's the what is the group thoughts then on that? Like, I think I don't think Lyco has some terrible ideas. The idea of getting some contacts to get cheaper stuff, maybe yeah. it's not the worst. But can anyone think of anything else that helps? Because what is your overall goal right now as a group? Right? Because I know we've got the individual kind of player goals in general, but is the plan to stay in versus? Is it to move to another planet to do something? And um, obviously, SK wants help to go into the vault to go stop Himani getting the void artifact you have agreed to help are you still going to do that is that the current overall goal I think we should go ahead with it I think that's important yeah. so yeah. what helps you achieve that it's kind of our fault really isn't it? Um, <laughs> uh, good question yeah. does he have um, an anti-dragon cannon rearming quickly and yeah. upgrading would be helpful to that yeah. I think having having a place to kind of base ourselves. Are we going to just kill Humani? Well, that's the question, right? Hopefully. Or are we going to need a big dragon shape? Or join himself? him. Yeah, so what is that plan, right? Because let's face it, SK basically said, oh, fuck. He's going after the Void Artifact. You fools of tooks. How dare you? I need to go stop that. And then she's like, you just want to actually help me though, because... I probably can't do this alone. Um, and he has a three-week head start, right? Mm. So yeah. Where's the boat again? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You've been to one of the doors, right? <laughs> yeah. But there was a lack of context. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was. Zig's been to the vault. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Zig, tell us where it is. It's over there. <laughs> In fairness, Zig has no idea where the where that is. Well, it was when you went to the lower spot. He just ended up there. White space room through the white space oh. pond into the dark room where Edgar was. So we go back to the lower spire. <laughs> back to Absalom. Back to the lower spire. Back to the white room. Chat with Queer. Mm. Fall into the pool. Yeah. Or is it a chat with you now? I don't know. Right. Also, Edgar seemed to know where the vault was because he pulled Zig there. Oh. oh yeah. Zig, can you get in touch with Edgar? <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> ah, you don't, well, Edgar was different, remember? Yeah, Edgar's a different man. He's in a different nah. man. Different isn't he? Yeah, because mm -hmm. remember, Edgar said he knew nothing about Edgar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
He dead. Well, he dead. <laughs> Wood dead and shit. Um, Is there any sort of political dispensation we can be given to go places? What do you mean, like we, otherwise... diplomatic immunity? Yeah, some something to protect us, mere mortals who aren't, you know, vesk royalty. Mm. How so? Give me more context. Uh, um, I just think obviously we're talking to someone with some some influence. If we could just, I don't know, be made a bit more official. I don't know if that's so. Like deputized. <laughs> yes, but oh. with our own freedom. <laughs> that's pretty much how I am at the yeah, moment. Yeah, I'm just wondering, can that be extended? Or is that? Well, Lyco was deputized in a time of crisis by Shakos. I, I would argue it's still a time of crisis. I wouldn't necessarily say she's the best judge of character, given Lyco's exact words, and then um, about her being the problem, <laughs> not getting promoted. Um, <laughs> but I mean, what if she's worked on that? I mean, you could fake that shit, right? I don't trust my bluffing, I'll be honest. I know, you've kind of not got, like, this would have been Emlyn's time to shine. Yeah. Kind of the psychic mm. forger. I'm right. not too bad at that sort of shit as well. It's I just purely because she was literally a psychic <laughs> smuggling forger, that yeah. was all. <laughs> I kind of, that's the bluff. Because I just felt it wasn't a vesky. Well, I skipped the bluff. <laughs> bluff. Good old bluff. Bluff. Could have had an amazing buff, but I just decided against it because, yeah. Um, okay. Right, okay. So, you got any ideas then for. I, I'm i not going to ask for like group wide deputization. Because, one, <laughs> I feel like it'd be pushing it. Also, and two, getting you deputized would be a big ask. Yeah. But the thing is that I feel like actually <laughs> having that official status means more oversight. Because yeah. it means more shit for them if anything we do blows up. Not only that though, but you'd then be assigned things. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I, I think Lyco having a bit more familiarity with them probably would think that's not the route to go. Mm -hmm. Um, What I think I will ask him for is because we do need to prepare and we can think about transportation and maybe even some. Uh, <sighs> How have I for, for, forgotten forgotten the word accommodation? <laughs> Jesus balls. Um, we can we can work that out once he's sort of yeah, said yeah go here speak to X. Um, well, yeah, I think if he if he can make it easier for us to prepare, that's probably the best thing we can do for right now because we have a very immediate goal. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it feels a very immediate goal. That's... That we might not be prepared for mm -hmm. if we don't take steps to get new armor and armaments and things like that. Because who knows what time frame those things are going to turn up in, right? Indeed. Uh, so I feel like we kind of have to just take this as an opportunity to do the upgrade buying, to do the stocking up, you know? Yeah, so you're going to go for like your original idea, I guess, then the contacts thing. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go with that. Maybe throw in somewhere to lie low, as opposed to you know, just wandering around the streets. Yeah, well, I was thinking you know we could resolve our own accommodation rather than actually I mean, it's go specifically right. somewhere yeah. that he knows where it is. I mean, I know he'll figure it out pretty easily, but just having like a degree of move feels more like with speed. Yeah, that's that's fine. I think the. Uh... Him with the plausible deniabilities probably happy, you know, for paperwork yeah. reasons. Um, to, to be able to say, I had no idea for the paperwork. Considering um, you're in what looks like a kind of fairly mediocre office, with crammed in with hollow displays, looks like his fucking mm -hmm. conspiracy room, quite frankly, with his hush device. Ah, so, I see you've been in conspiracy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he is okay, so what I'll say to him is, uh, we are obviously. Uh, A little put out at the moment. We've had to temporarily leave some items with border control. We've not made it out of Absalom intact. Our ship is 
it wasn't perfect, but it was functional, and now it isn't, so... Don't you ever say that about my show. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need to, to resupply. Uh, if, if you know anywhere that we could do that uh, efficiently, or anywhere that, uh, I don't know, Shakos can perhaps flash the badge uh, would be appreciated. Okay, it looks seems like unfortunately Officer Shakos will be required to return to duty. However, I'm sure I can assign her as a liaison to a consultant that I will appoint. And he just nods at you. I nod back. Thank you, sir. Um, and he kind of just like brings up like a panel with one hand and just starts typing in uh, Ben Galenti. Fills that under like newly hired consultant. Your leave is your alias. Yeah. It was yeah. Ben Galenti. It was. It? it was. Yeah. No, sorry, Galenti Galentis. It was Ben Galentis. Um Yeah. He, he types it up anyway. Uh, it's like good. We have a consultant. Uh, on on file. And that affords you the steward discount at these locations, and he attaches like you know files to the official offer of employment dot 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 that probably makes its way to your comm device or at least the partitioned comm section that is the only open when you are Ben <laughs> yeah yeah you know like when you put groups of icons on your phone you know it's in the Ben group <laughs> yeah yeah and then uh, it says unfortunately Shakos will be busy dealing with and he just waves one of his four hands mm. at the like twenty or so like hollow screens all kind of like stacked on top of each other. And he says, We will deal with this. You will mostly be on your own. Which I think you prefer. No I think. <laughs> and then he says, um I have matters I would like looked into. The Vesk. Find out everything. He just kind of leans back when he says that, as if he's kind of given up a bit. Um, yeah. He's like, I really need to know as much as I can. Yes, sir. While my superiors might not be able to officially question their motivations, I sure as hell can. I'm also we uh, uh the nerve. We forward. may have a no, he leans forward. Sorry, and he's he's like. I have also refused a direct order to be recalled to the Adari by my people. Who wish to leave. The solar system. Based on. Events. Yes. Ripples, in the pond. Not good. I have refused that request at great cost. And obviously, Cassathans are very, um, lots of traditions, if we will. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like he'll essentially be a pariah by doing this. But it's obviously, again, you know, this guy is quite, he's a cop through and through, right? He's a good guy. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't like I think that's probably why Laiko is inclined to, to like him, because, yeah, Laiko is kind of a cop at heart, even now. Yeah, like, decent guys, deep down. Um, but yeah, he's like, he leans, and he says, you'll want to keep your distance from the Vesk. Teeth and tail, and all. He kind of nods. Um, Sir, I, uh, I do believe we may have a valuable resource 
with uh, regards to contacting the Vesk indirectly. Yes, you're captain. Yes, sir. Why do you think I'm assigning this to you? Yeah. I feel used. <laughs> In <laughs> multiple fronts. Off, to, off of the distance. I feel used. <laughs> My nose is tingling. Like. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, admire the pragmatism, sir. I thought that may have been a factor. Kind of nods. And he says, um, the highest ranking Vesk in system, it seems, is the envoy from the Viscarium. And then he swipes over some more data to you, which is a file. He says, I'm glance at it quickly. He, he says, there's no point working your way to the top. Start at the top. I need to know everything as quickly as possible. I can't afford to be fighting a, a ghost war with an Aslanti star empire when the real enemy is the Vesk at my back. Yes, sir. I have four arms, but only one back. And then you hear Shackles go, yeah, and one bad back, and he just looks at her. As if, please don't talk. <laughs> um, you see on the uh, like the data pad, um, it's uh, the, the head vesk, you might want to take a note of this somewhere, uh, it's called Dmogesh. I will spell that. <laughs> I'll just type it in there. Just type it in general. I'll pop it in there. And yeah, oh. let's just put Vesk I don't know, general, I guess. Uh, Vesk general. Demogish. Uh, Zora. Uh, can you. You don't even need to roll, actually. I don't even know this. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't Vesk, know. But any. you will anyway. Because this will be. You know this person by their battle name, which is that. <laughs> Grave oh. Evoke and I, really, <laughs> I love it. Man. Are you sure the battle names aren't Black Metal Pants? Um, so, yeah, that is what you know them as. And. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, it was between that and this option, by the way, so I'll just paste the other option in. Cosmos Tyrant. Cosmo Tyrant. I love it. Uh, as well. I prefer the. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I mean, uh, the Abyss is quite a, a black metal name as well, yeah, man. So I think that is just the yeah, like, The metal name is the Abyss. The Abyss. So. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, this person has earned themselves. Like, Demogesh is. Yeah. You, you get on top of the Vesk power structure by getting on top of the Vesk power structure. Um, but yeah, you get that information anyway. Um, so essentially the exchange is Lyco asks for discounts and, you know, contacts to know where to go. He's happy to give you that as a consultant, uh, emphasis on con. And the your liaison to Babak is through Shakos. Um, and essentially he's kind of hinting that you can't really have any more direct contact with him. Um, he's also assigned you your fucking espionage mission. Yeah, your Veskinash mission. So, yeah. Anything else you want to do in the office before? Because he's kind of... Just... I know, I think we're good. Yeah. Um, good, good. I'm assuming I'll be parting with uh, Shakos there. Yeah. Um... She actually just hugs you, I think, when you were about to leave. Um, I'm sort of... not... Aww. Awkwardly, but slightly mechanically return the hug, because mm. I think like, Lyco is used to hugging as a part of pretending to be other people, but not someone who doesn't much himself. Yeah. But then, like, after she hugs him, he'll probably, like, slap her in the arm, like, yeah. with authentic affection. <laughs> and then, uh, she hands you back your knife, and she's like, you know, just kind of shrugs. Thank you. 
I uh, I holster it. <laughs> and she just like sheds. Well, sheath it rather. She sheds back in as you start to leave, and you just hear her shout, "Don't die again!" Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. I just groan. Yeah. She's already like, she's a part of me. She's not one to watch you walk away anyway, that's for sure. Um, she goes about her business, you go about your business. <laughs> As for everybody else, uh, we'll deal with that next time. Okie dokie, folks. Um, yeah. Okie dokie. Yes. I think that would be good. Okie dokie. Um, but yeah, I think we'll leave with um, this really awkward shot of Lyco just leaving the steward HQ, um, bypassing like groups of Vesk troops. Um, mm -hmm. where it seems like there's less and less stewards and just lots of Vesk. Um, and it's maybe playing some kind of slightly offbeat tune in the background that hints at more. <laughs> um, so we'll end it there on a strangely non cliffhanger but quite revelationary ending. And if I can have people's suggestions for names. <laughs> Like who talks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the session. The, the fucking campaign. Um, yeah, Check well. point. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Yeah, Check point. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, yeah. Any other egg based ones? Because we've got so many side up and over easy so far. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um. Hard uh, let me think. <laughs> no, no, saving that one. Saving that one. <laughs> um, Just for when Zora gets into fit again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've well, been bumping away all right. Like, some real proper skullduggery for that one. Yeah. Mm, I, I think. I don't think we have any strong egg contenders here. Uh, um. Yeah. Um, struggling to find yeah. one. So we've also got this. Um, is there a Vesk invasion, or is there a Vesk like heroic savior moment happening? Um, are they capitalizing on the chaos that uh, Urgalas is creating? Because you just know directly, Urgalas is creating chaos. Like, mm -hmm. That's like the stone that drops into the pond, but the ripples are obviously being a. <laughs> Which came first? He has led to the best. Vesk in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Am I totally not even <laughs> sure? sure. I'm not sure. It's, mm -hmm. it's interesting. It's interesting. Cause I, I, mean, I did we have what? we used that one before? Because I feel like Vesk in diplomacy is really apt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. I feel like that is probably going to come up soon. Yeah, it's in a okay. session. Let's keep that one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I feel example, like that when, is. When you start to start, come soon. When you start signing autographs with a, like obviously Zora to get to Demogesh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How good a name is Demogesh though, right? It just sounds Mogesh. So good, Mogesh. <laughs> Mogesh. Very Vesk. Demogesh. Um, Demogesh does. I I think checkpoints winning so far then, right? That's a good name. Um, yeah, it just name. works. Yeah, let's go with checkpoint then. Mm. Uh, it's a real man's yeah. name. A man's name. Checkpoint. It's the kind of name that you would give a thing. Uh, checkpoint. Uh, also, then, goals. Uh, let's Always believe in your soul. Oh. I, one day, I won't do that. And we'll miss it. I honestly probably not. But I'd like to think you would. So, Lyco. Go. Hey there. Go. Hey there to Lyco. What's it? No. Sorry. Um, hi! Mm -hmm. So your goal? Goal is very much unachieved and pending. Happy to leave as is or changing? Happy. Um, I'm going to have a think about that for next session actually and see if I can come up with something more immediate but at the moment I don't have anything off mm -hmm. the top of my uh what I did with my other group Not on their really. sheet was we had three columns. So we had pending party goals in a list. We had mm -hmm. the active singular party goal, because they just do one goal at a time as a party. And then we had the list of the completed fools. goals at the far side. 
I don't know if you maybe want to reformat this page a bit to have pending like individual goals and then your active goal and then the completed goal list. I don't really the complete goal list can just be the one big column because we are tracking that as a group anyway. But that's an option. Um, that feels a little organised for us. It does, <laughs> given the look of this mm. so far. Yes. <laughs> But that is an option, obviously, we can look at to make this a bit easier to track if need be. Because obviously I'll, I need eight completed goals before you hit level eight on the list as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, like we can leave yours as is just now and definitely have a think about maybe a more short term goal. Yeah, I um, definitely am having a think. Uh, I think what you've got is still a knows. really good one to have. It still makes sense. I just Yeah, it's but good. it's slightly longer term. Yeah. It's not long term, but it's, mi it's the middle term. Yeah. Uh, Zig. What Lyco said. Cool. <laughs> Zora. Eh, uh, mine's is still ongoing. <laughs> Hopefully to be fixed soon. Well, fixed? Why not just replace it? Why not what? just replace it? It's it's my, the ship or the goal? It's my whole... The, the, yeah, the, the, both. the ship. Both. The, the, sh the ship, it, its engine is a crystal. An organic crystal. That's probably not easy to remove. Um, fuck it. I mean, you're not wrong. I know. But, but it's, it's sentimental. Why it's would like... I be wrong? I wouldn't be I mean, wrong. He's currently looking for thing. a shipyard right now. So It's basically like he's new, new beginning, that mm -hmm. ship. So like, yeah, it's, 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 it's a hard sell. It's a hard sell. We'll come up with another witty name. It will be great. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to leave that if you are, Zora. Yeah. Nyx. I have achieved. Down. Yeah, move it down to the completed list. Which one? The goal you achieved. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was <really> cheeky. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's a D, that first letter, or like, it's an S. It's, like... it's... <laughs> me! Um, I hate it I... so much. <laughs> was that an F? I don't know, man. Like, I can't, I can't read that. I just, it's more like it's a symbol that represents the sentence for me now. So... Oh, God, you're like one of those ufology people that looks at, like, uh, Aztec letters, actually, every letter means a word as well as a letter, and Atlantis exists. <laughs> I was thinking more hieroglyphics, but yeah, whatever. Conspiracy Craig. <laughs> it's already on the Conspiracy Craig website, no doubt. Um, but yeah, so we have a complete goal. Make it legible, Alex. Dear gods. <sighs> I know, right? Imagine me having to go to read the goals that were completed. It's sentimental value, right? Yeah, yeah. Make the next <laughs> Don't you use my arguments? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's okay. When I do it, it's good. Um, do you have another goal in mind then to replace it at the moment? Um... Anything Nix is particularly focused on at the moment? Or anything you'd like to explore with Nix going forward? Because keep in mind, goals set by you guys don't necessarily need to be fully, you know... Fully. Well, just, like, your pl your character, sorry, don't necessarily need to be fully aware of uh, your machinations. Uh, uh, I, would, I would never machinate. How dare you? Yes. <laughs> okay. I think I'm at that stage where I just need my own mini spaceship. For me to inhabit. And, uh. Yeah, go for a war machine. I need an even <laughs> bigger gun. That is what I feel is lacking right now. So There's always it, a bigger gun. Is it maybe. I don't know. Acquire per armor and personalize it in some way? Because I feel like that's more of a goal than just buying something from a shop, if that makes sense. Yes. Also, like, acquiring high tech stuff is not going to be difficult on this planet, for that way. Especially because I mean, you've basically got the steward okay for the go-to retailers. Writing death rifle on a notepad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do. It's that. not a thing we'll invent. Um, yeah. Anybody else got any kind of goal-oriented convos to have with me just now? No. Good. No, I think I need. I need a week. I'm a bit brain brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> Says that. Then let's do our rundown. Then do you want to start us off, Zora? Yeah, I, I, as per, I just enjoy Lyco's 
paranoia in every single way. It's great. I wouldn't consider him paranoid. You know? <laughs> I'm just joking. I just <laughs> mean, like, like there's, there's a, there's a, a beastie in the bush. Every uh, bush. I, was waiting, I love it, man. I was waiting like, for like, Colin to turn around and be like, who said I was paranoid? Who have you been talking to? <laughs> it's um, one of my favourite uh, Wesley quotes. I'm not pa- no, no one's ever called me paranoid unless you've been saying it behind my back. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Um, uh, carry on, Alex, then, while we're waiting in. Um, yeah, I mean, I always enjoyed Lyco's uh, chats with higher ups. Oh, I'm back, sorry. Wait. No, yeah. you missed your chance. You're out. You um, I'm no, the captain now. So, okay. Um, <laughs> physical <laughs> captain next. Oh, yeah. That's. Um, I could use that. No, that was. Yeah, I've really enjoyed Colin's. Um, I guess attempts to kind of bring back some of like those institutional ways. Mm. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, yeah. calling on that history. Um, and yeah, also enjoy getting the uh, just pulling in like the Islanti and the Vesk and all the real bad guys of the uh, of the galaxy. We're all really with. just trying to fuck off our neck, aren't we? Really, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Just shitting on everything he's built. <laughs> Get rid of the ship. Pop the <laughs> I don't think it's, it does leave. I mean, the best don't have the best approach to androids. So I think the captain is a, a unique case. I think to Nix's mind. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's a there's a difference between the captain and the Vescarium. Yeah. I'm sure the captain. They're probably right, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I really agree with that. It's been, it's definitely interesting to see. Obviously, like Nix's experience with the Vesk being primarily the captain versus the universe's experience with the Vesk, which is very much not the captain. Um, yep. Uh, Nico, anything else to add? Um, I enjoyed, I enjoyed uh, Nix's not. Really don't want to get rid of the buggy. I appreciate that. <laughs> mm. Appreciated that. Uh, I think you're looking for allies. Yes, it was a nice, oh, wait, wait. humanizing sort of moment. It was. Thank you, Colin. Thank you very much. No, I mean, yeah, and, and just obviously just Lyco. Just very much Lyco. Yeah. Please keep sharing with Freeze. I like this. Yeah. Yeah, just be kind. I'm so <laughs> looking for my eyes, so I'm just joking. But I, uh, no, I think that's for cool. Leave it there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Michael? I liked the bit with me in it. Um, no, no. I, I had a good fun interacting with Baba again. That was cool. I like, I like, as I've said before, getting into the past life of Lyco. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because obviously, you have a character who has a literal past life. Of course you want to weed into it a bit. Well, I say of course, there will be exceptions. I guess Dietrich kind of was an exception. Like, not entirely, but he kind of didn't give a shit about his own backstory. Um, But obviously, not playing it that way with, um, with Lyco. He is someone who is still very tied and willingly so to the world that he used to walk in mm-hmm. um so it, it is always fun when we get those those little bits where we do and it makes uh, sense given what to... happened with the political landscape given yeah. absalom as well it made sense to fall back to somewhere that made sense to the in-universe people such as sk right because yeah. A, there's a vault door here for her, which is part of my own storylines, obviously, and then as part of the Starfinder universe, this is like the home of the stewards. Like, yeah. It's described as the birthplace of the stewards, but I like it just being the fucking Starfleet Academy of it. Because yeah. um, that makes sense to me. And it was a good um, way of being like, well, where else? It's a great place to start you guys again. Uh, as I said, like, I, I agreed very much that having a moment where, like, Nix is being, well, as as Alex put it, very irrational, right? It, valuing, it's it's interesting because I I don't think anyone for a second sort of maybe, maybe when I buggered off for a minute he's dead 
elaborately thought it all out. But I don't think he's in. I think it just came together quite naturally, uh, organically, that you were doing that. And at the same time, Cap is determined to hold on to his ship. Despite mm-hmm. the fact that it's probably easier just to buy a new one. Absolutely. See if there are bits you could scavenge, maybe salvage rather from the previous one. Salvage, because yeah, scavenging kind of has the wrong connotations mm. there. But like, uh, it probably isn't the rational approach. And Cap can be a pretty rational guy, right? He he's not the biggest sentimentalist in the world, and I think obviously the impression that. We all probably have of Nyx. Um, certainly, like with us, is that he is sort of highly rational, maybe even like hyper rational. And so, and I think that's interesting because it sort of manifests in that because I didn't get a great role, I didn't immediately go, "Oh, you're 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 being really, really irrational. This is a lovey dovey thing, huh?" Um, because I didn't get that great role. Which makes sense. Again, hard to read an Android. Mm-hmm. Um, I, th- I just think all these things came together where the role wasn't everything that could be and that combined with the fact that you had the captain doing a sort of not dissimilar thing mm-hmm. so that we got this sort of overall feeling of like almost a kind of unwillingness to leave behind what we've left. You know, it's sort of clinging on to the the traces of what is, to some extent, already gone. Um, and it just it's interesting that that just sort of seems to have come together. What is Not necessarily is, like, for me, in my point of view, from you, like reviewing that. Like, what I find funny is, Lyco moved on when he died. <laughs> yeah, he really did. And to... but he's not. He's not felt like he needs to completely divorce himself from everything involved in that like he's he's in this really weirdly healthy position about it where he can without issue really interact with people from his past Mm -hmm. um which i think is really interesting and then you contrast that with the party who struggle to leave behind their past yeah because you could say dying actually freed you i think in a way it did didn't it because he he is a much more sort of liberated person uh, not necessarily always in a positive way. Mm. Um, and I think like it's cool getting to roleplay the bit where he sort of switches back to cop mode. Um, and and as I say, like, I look forward to getting to sort of like go go into more of like the underhanded side of him when that comes up. Um, oh, you've got an entire uh, espionage element. Yeah. Can look into. Um, and of course, like sort of bounty or stuff. Um, so that that was all cool. It just worked really thematically nicely that everyone was kind of in that page, really mm-hmm. except for me, the character who, as an outsider, you might think would be. And I love it when shit like that happens. Mm-hmm. I love counterintuitive at a glance, but then actually, if you know the character's really natural storylines, I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so that was right up my alley. Um, You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I also like that like Zig has sort of that as an overarching character thing, so again it ties in. But also it was sort of fitting that Zig was kind of a bit out of it. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Because he's the youngest and it seems intuitively to me that he would you know, he would be regardless of the circumstances. Um He's youngest. And he's probably also the most moral, except in as much as you could argue that uh, you know there's a strong moral code to Nix, but it's kind of a weird one. Like it's not to say it's a negative one or that he isn't like I don't know what his alignment is, but not to say he isn't good. Uh, but it maybe isn't everyone's moral code. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was. It, it just it fit. It all fit really nicely. Um, I think it's just that everybody's quite. Like, yeah, quite sure of who their characters are these days. Yeah, and, we, and those were just like lovely little things, like little touches that that showed internal emotional states without ever actually really saying it, mm-hmm. which is always good. Um, uh, I definitely agree. I realise I've done the Colin thing yeah. of waffling on for several minutes well, now. The part I'll add to your uh, section then is 
I can't wait to see how you pose Vesk espionage to your captain. This is going to be interesting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your captain who's not... Vesk not espionage. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my that. god, Callum. I mean, I did say this earlier, but... Uh, Vesk espionage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did you? I did. Sorry. It's okay. It was a uh. terrible joke then. It's still a terrible joke now. And then... <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's, really, it's really good now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Fuck you. Um... <laughs> 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 the interesting thing will be that obviously Zora doesn't doesn't have any specifically negative ties to the Viscarium, right? Like just a bit of bitterness, right? Tiniest bit of bitterness. Yeah. But beyond that, there's no like disloyalty as such. Um not to say there's any zealous loyalty. Um No love anymore, but no I, I, yeah. They're still your people. Yeah. I, still... I mean, yeah, they were still my people's indeed. Was... Mm -hmm. There's many times I've said still... that Zora's like, yeah, I'm totally your captain until the war's back on. <laughs> 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 like, yep. Until that flag goes in the air. Yep, we're all good friends. Um... <laughs> but yeah, what about you, Gallum and Zig? I mean,. I think everything's been kind of covered, but um, I'm really, I am really enjoying just everyone's characters being their characters. Um, I loved a lot of um, Lyco being very irritating in the in the buggy. Mm. Um, I loved um, Zora's sort of just attachment to the ship, even though it's definitely a lost cause. <laughs> Wow. Uh, wow, man. I'm make a video but it's natural that the island. captain would be the one that does as well. That's the sort of thing. Yeah. I'm going to make a video that's just leave Zora alone as I put eyeliner on <laughs> the time. <laughs> Nyx being Nyx was just <laughs> great. I loved uh Yes, I could just make an artillery grade stuff out of your kitchen, so you might as well just let me know. I also just like the casual, like. Nick's fading into the conversation, but like I also speak verse out. Um, yeah. I'm making a bomb now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it is, it's good. It is good fun. Um, it's been fun introducing this chapter's kind of overarching themes as well. I like the things that the universe has to deal with. Because keep in mind, at no point do you need to get involved in this shit, right? You've agreed to help Eskate. You've got the Hamani situation Eskate's trying to resolve. You could just say no to Eskate, then wait for Hamani to get back to like Triaxis. Hop over to Triaxis. He might be there already, and go and get paid. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, that's a thing. You could then try and pick up the trail of uh, your glass. Try and see what the fuck's going on there. You could try and head back to Absalom and see what the fuck's going on at Absalom. Um. You don't need to do the espionage or anything like that, but this is what I like about having, like, you know, a universe that feels like it's still going on regardless of you guys, if that makes sense. Um, because to me, it's important as a player and as a GM to make a world feel like it exists despite the players. Um, because it is a bit crap when you think everything only exists in direct relation to you guys like if you guys only ever wanted to deal with like Urgalas and the only thing that the game revolved around was that plotline and then not to deal with the fallout of Absalom or the fact that like other factions will move to fill like vacuums you know it, it needs to be organic that way um no offense Lyco <laughs> you know so yeah it's been fun I uh, I have nothing else to add, unless somebody else has anything to add. Um, no, I don't have any jokes. Fuck. Good. <laughs> Fine, good. Um, <laughs> I'll have one next week, don't worry. Thank you everyone at home for listening. Uh, thank you all my players Thanks. as well. I'm at a gig next Monday, I think. Shit! <laughs> Excellent. Last line. Um, again, yes. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. Dr. Bye. Bye.